this video, I have to beat the spawn room challenge on every single Call of Duty Black Ops 4 Zombies map. Now, it's been a second since I've uploaded. It's actually been about eight days by the time this is going up. And I do apologize, but I've been behind the scenes working on numerous projects. And I've been trying to cook up some really, really cool stuff for you guys in April. If you guys didn't see my tweet, I recommend you go and check that out now. For those of you who can't be bothered, I know who you are. On the 9th of April this year, I'm going to be dropping my biggest project on this channel. And I hope you guys are looking forward to it because I sure as hell have enjoyed making it for you. And it's going to be one of the best videos I've ever made on the channel. So I really hope you're excited. And if you do enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like on the video. And if you do like what you're seeing again, make sure to subscribe. Subscribe. We are coming very, and I mean very close to that 30,000 subscriber mark. So let's see if we can hit that before the end of March. With all that said, enjoy this video. All right, the first of eight, or first of many, as I say in these videos, Voyage of Despair. And funnily enough, the weirdest thing about this map is that we have access to a perk, which is a bit odd. We do have Perkaholic, but that is quite cool to see that we have access to a perk machine. Now, here is the other question. Do we have access to any other weapons? No, the Essex is still up here. I swear the Mog is up here somewhere. Or am I absolutely tripping? Mm, maybe it's not then. Okay, uh, I know the Strife is on this side. I always thought the Mog was up there, not the Essex. That's really, really weird. Right, okay. So yeah, the Spawn Room challenge it's an absolute timeless classic and i thought you know we've done it on every other game now we might as well hit it with that bo 4 and there you go that is the first round that's the first round of a lot we're going to be going for 20 on this but the next map we do which i think is nine we're going to be going for 30 just because that map has a little bit more room a little bit more of everything that you can do and considering that the whole spawn room's a bloody circle it shouldn't be that hard to get to 30 and if i don't you guys are going to slate me in the comments i already know right anyway i'm going to pop a wall power here and i'm going to grab a strife oh that camo looks minging i don't know about you guys but that does just not look good to me Right, okay, that's round again. We've got a little insta-kill here. Not that it really matters because our gun is pretty much an insta-kill until, you know, like the higher 15s and stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to devise a plan on which we can probably trim. We could do like from here and then all the way around, or we could just try and wing it. That is completely up to me in the situation I'm in, but I'm not too sure what to do. Okay, what I do know what to do, though, is I'm going to pop this and I'm going to get myself a shield. Oh, this shield always looks so sick, man. I don't know, like the, just the small tweaks that they did for the Chaos storyline rather than, you know, like the... The black SWAT one that all the rest of the ether has apart from Blood of the Dead. It just looks so cool. Right, okay, this round should be nearly over now, I think. Uh, we've also got the chakras on because I actually want to spice it up a little bit this video. I'm going to be doing a different specialist weapon each map we go on, so I want to encourage you guys to watch all the way through. Not just because, you know, it's the thing every YouTuber says, but because these specialist weapons actually do change things up quite a bit. It changes how you play the game. Like, for example, if I had the Scepter of Ra, I'd be more inclined to camp. These chakras give me more of an advantage while I'm training because I could be throwing them while I'm training the zombies about. You know, the hammer's more situated for camping again, because you can kind of just sit in the corner and just swing about, but these chakras, they're a bit different. And it's been a while since I've used them, and I'm excited to use them again. So, actually, I'm going to whip them out now, because I really want to try and get them up to tier 2 as fast as possible. They are so much fun to use, man. It's ridiculous. Like, imagine if these were just a wonder weapon. Nobody's done that yet. Like, for BO3 Customs, just made these, like, into a wonder weapon. Could be so cool. Bro, if any modder or map is looking at, like, getting some inspiration for wonder weapons, do that, bro. The chakras are so fun. Or is it the Shack Rams? Maybe the Shack Rams, to be fair. I don't know. I don't know if I'm mispronouncing it. Right, okay. That's round. Bro, we're already on round five. We are four minutes in. Less than a round a minute so far. Jesus. But yeah, definitely a key thing with these challenges. Getting your specialist to tier three is like an utmost requirement because some of the abilities that they have are amazing. I'm pretty sure with the Chakras. Shack Rams, Chakras. I don't know what I'm going to call them from now. Call them Shack Rams. And if I get it wrong, you guys can slate me in the comments once again. But yeah, getting it tier three, in my opinion, is a massive priority just because I'm pretty sure there's an ability with these at least where you can like have an invincibility force field around you or something like that i can't remember if that's the chakrams or something else it might be the uh separate of raw i'm not too sure it's been a little while since i played bo4 right okay we're gonna end the round and i'm gonna use them again i'm actually quite excited to be playing bo4 again it's been a little while there's not really much you can do actually apart from the easter eggs there is russian stuff but you know there's not really a goal with rush it's just like how high of a score can you get and i didn't really feel like that would be an interesting video since a couple of people i've noticed have already done that and you know onslaught as well in cold war people say I could do a video on that, but uh, I don't know. Onslaught's kind of boring for me. It's just zombies, but on multiplayer maps. It's just not interesting. Right, okay. Chakras, let's go. Oh, they're so fun, man. I really wish they made a return in some sort of game. I really think they would have fit Vanguard, to be fair with you. They got that, like, mysterious, like, you know, ancient spooky vibe to them. You know what I mean? They don't really last that long, though, which is the only pity, but they do a lot of damage. It's kind of ridiculous. Okay, uh, this should be the end of the round, I think. Yes. Yeah, let's go. What I'm particularly excited for is Ancient Evil, bro. Because that spawn room has a challenge thing in there. Kind of like Cold War, you know, the challenge machine? That was the first zombies map to have challenges, I'm pretty sure. Apart from, like, you know, BO3 with the set 3. You get random ones in that one. That's what I'm on about. That was the first map to have that. And I'm excited because that means we can probably potentially pull... That was a triple P. That, I'm, 
I'm shocked I pronounced that. I usually mess my words up. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of excited to see if we can pull like some sort of decent gun from that. Because the challenges have always been like a nice addition to the Cold War map. So the fact there is one in BO4 does make me a little bit happy. This Z Harmony is absolutely tearing through them, man. I'm so glad I picked this up with War Power, not the Essex. I feel like the Essex would have dropped off by now. I don't know why. Okay, we got the specialist weapon ready again. I might just end the round though, because I think we're coming close to the end of it anyway. Uh, yes, we are. Okay, grab this bonus points while we're still on double points. And that should be round. Yeah, lovely stuff. I'm going to refrain from using Perkaholic as much as I can. I've literally only got it on as kind of a crutch if I'm starting to struggle. So I'm just going to grab Quick Revive for now and see how I get on with that. Because, you know, Quick Revive in this game does faster regen for whatever reason. They also carried that over to Cold War, which I found was a little bit weird. But, you know, I kind of respect it. Uh, right, we're going to whip out the Chakras again. Oh, my God, they're so much fun. Like, I'm, I'm never going to stop saying it. These have to be the most fun specialist. Like, just throwing it at a zombie, that's like a million miles away. Like, that is just so much fun, man. And even if you don't land your shot, they come back to you. It's really cool. Another full power. Yeah. Yeah, we can use them again. Let's go. Oh my god, you can melee with them so fast. Look at that. Right, okay, we've nearly got it level two. Or oh, is that already at level two? I can't tell. Nah, it's not. Okay. I'm gonna have to go one more time to get them level two, and then we'll see what its ability is. Because I've kind of forgotten. It's been a while since I've used the things, like I said. Okay, yeah, these guys are on voyage. I forgot, like, the elemental zombies. Kind of annoying, but it's okay. They're not too much of a bother, unless, you know, the napalm ones manage to get a little sneak attack on you. With the full power, you absolutely love to see it. it means we can get these level two. Lovely stuff. Oh, throwing them through a horde as well. That's so satisfying. Right, okay. That should easily be level two now, yeah? Yeah, nice. I can never remember if there's actually a special round on Voyage. It, the only one I can really remember is like the Blightfather spawning on round 12, I think. So we just got to look out for him. But the Zed Harmony should be like easily quick work of him. Okay, things are starting to pick up the pace a little bit now. Chill out, zombies. Come on now. Grab some ammo so I don't run out. I think it's just because this is starting to take a little bit more bullets to kill a zombie is all. So I kind of feel like it's fallen off, but it's really not. It's just taking, you know, a couple of more bullets. Uh, I think that's round or just about. Yes, it is. Lovely stuff. We also got our Chakram's charged for next round they're also level two so i'm excited to see what it actually brings dead of the night should be fun as well because that spawn room is massive from what i remember or is it or is that when you get the um sentinel artifact on i can't actually remember it could be one of the smallest i'm not too sure don't quote me on that i think that is the blight father coming to say hi i hear stomping about oh wait no it's this guy oh yeah this guy spawns in right okay throw chakrams wait what does level two actually do do you just get like the ability to sprint really quick i guess so oh my god this annihilates him look at this there you go Okay, we got another full power, bro. The game is treating me. Oh, I feel like an absolute beast using these things, man. There we go. Can we end the round with these things? Yes, we can. I'm gonna try get them to level three before like round fifteen, hopefully. We do have a power keg that we can use on our um, fourth elixir slot, as you can tell by the massive B O four hood that I absolutely despise. Whoever approved this at Treyarch, I hope you lost your job. No, I'm joking. That's way too far. I hope that you uh, rectified your mistake in your later work. Let's just say that. I thought it was a blight father spawned in. It's just a little um, electric zombie. But there's another one of these. He just spawned in last round. Can you sod off? All right, nice one. Oh, he dropped his key. Don't even need that for anything, but, you know, I'll take it. I think that's for a free Kraken, I can't lie. Okay, round 13, you love to see it. I am going to go grab some more ammo for the Z Harmony. Without this thing, bro, I would be cooked. This hasn't been too bad so far, though. It is starting to pick up the pace. Okay, this is what I mean by picking up the pace. They are starting to absolutely dart at me now. Uh, these are charged. Let's get using these. Oh, my God, look at the man. I'm quite excited for what its tier 3 ability is, because, like I said, I've completely forgotten. I've never actually used the Viper and Shotgun as well, so that'll be useful to play. Useful? Fun to play around with. Why did I say useful? Sometimes when I'm recording, my brain just kind of, like, loses track of what I'm saying. I don't know how to explain it. I get, like, brain fog. Okay, gonna grab some ammo for this again, because we got the point budget to do it, and we are six rounds away from our goal already, man. This is what I kind of meant with my, uh, intro to, I think it was the World at War video. Not many of you have seen that. If you do want to see it, the link will be in the icon, but as I was saying, though, um, I think I said I didn't really want to do BO4, because, you know, it's a little bit too easy, but, y you know, you know, you guys wanted to see it. I saw the comments. That's the Blight Father. That's what I was looking for, and remembered spawning in Okay, there is a carpenter there. I want it because my shield is on just about half health. I'll have that. You love to see it. And I'm going to try to get rid of this blight father. Okay, okay, okay. Chill, 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 chill. We'll come up here. Try get my chakrams. Right, there we go. We got them. All right, see how well it fares against the blight father then. Can I just stab him? Oh, I can. Okay, okay, okay. These don't do very well against them, to be fair. Actually, I can't tell. I don't know how much damage we did, but it clearly wasn't enough to kill him. I don't even think we popped one pod on his back. That is so annoying. Oh, we just got them tier three as well. Get off me. Bro, think you're the panzer soldier. Right, there we go. Die. Nice one. All right, nice. Got an insta kill as well. Oh, and he did this. You are so annoying. Man, don't vomit on my war buys, bro. Right, okay, I think I'm actually just gonna pop a power keg because I'm too excited, bro. I really want to see what these things do. Okay, take advantage of the insta kill that we got for a little bit. Oh, bro, I'm excited. Right, okay, let's whip these things out. Let's see. Whirlwind. Yeah, this is what I was on about. Yeah, you just get like an infinity. It's so, it's so sick. 
Like, these actually have to be some of the best specialist weapons ever. Okay, he's dead. Bro, they're so overpowered. It's crazy. Hence why, you know, I want to change things up every time we do a different map. Because there's ones that I don't even really know how to use properly. Like, the Viper and Dragon, like I said, I've never used that before. I'm pretty sure it's just like a knife and a shotgun, though, so it shouldn't be too hard to, you know, learn. Right, okay, are we good? Yes, we are. That is round. You love to see it. Okay, let's grab some ammo for the Z Harmony here. We've got four more rounds to go. We should be good. I'm still yet to pop the Perkaholic yet. Because, um, I haven't really felt a need to, to be fair with you. Things have been getting more hectic, but they haven't been getting to the point where I think I need, like, a bunch of perks. Okay, what we got there? That's an insta-kill. Okay, we are on 95 health. Chill. Let's try to get as many of these as we can on insta-kill. I'm gonna save my chakrams probably for the next round. We can probably get rid of most of them this round with this insta-kill, to tell you the truth. Such a weird spawn room as well. I don't think anybody really talks about that. Right, he's dead. And that's a full power. Oh, that sucks. Oh, wait, no, it doesn't really. There's still zombies spawning. Not really that much of a waste. Okay, I really want to end the round and then grab the full power. Can we do that? Yes, we can. Right. I'm just going to put these away and save whatever little I have on le them left. And then I'm just going to grab the full power once this round starts properly. Um, wait for it to start blinking like that. There we go. Okay, yeah, the Z Harmony now has kind of fallen off to the point where it's taking a few bullets to kill a zombie now. Like, look at that. That's really bad. Okay, right. Let's whip these things back out. Whirlwind it up and we'll just start throwing them. That's the beauty of these things. It's not really a set method to use them. You can Kinda can just chill with them. Nothing can really come near you once you got them on. Okay, we have ran out of them now, though, so I'm gonna be on my toes. Ooh. Right, we've got no bullets in the shield either. See, the benefits of keeping your ammo in your shield is that this game has a weird thing for shields. It's like, no matter what round you're on, the bullets in the gun on the shield will do so much damage. I don't understand why, but it just does. I, I, I don't get it. Okay, to be fair, running a train through here was not a bad idea at all. This is working quite well. I feel like I'm on, like, a catwalk with more steps. Okay, is that round? Yes! Right, best part is we nearly got a Chakram's charge again. I reckon round 19 should be an absolute breeze. Okay, our shield is just about half health, so I'm going to be careful. That's a full power. Hang on, we can absolutely take advantage of that. Two seconds. Charge these up. Whirlwind it. There you go. Right, okay, let's see how well we can maximize this then. This is why I love the full power drop, man. It can just make things so much easier. Okay, and we'll grab it now. It means we've got to save for next round. I'm going to get rid of this Blight Father first, though. Because the Chakrams don't be too versed on taking these things down, so I'm going to do it by hand. But actually, to be fair, there's enough zombies here that I can get away with using these again. What if I just stab him? What if I, like, just uh, straight up melee him? Come here. Come here, you big evil shit. Ugh. All right, okay. Zed Harmony is it then, I guess. And this guy really doesn't like being meleeed, huh? Oh my god, he is taking a while to die. Die! Come on! There you go. All right, one more round. We got this, bro. All right, buy some more ammo for this thing. And hopefully we can get another charge on our Chakrams. Just, you know, play with them again. Because they are just very, very fun. That is a Stoker I just heard spawn in. And our shield is literally about to break. There's a lot of them elemental zombies starting to spawn in now. Don't know how I feel about that. Try to use a grenade here. Let's lob that there. See how it does. Ah, I killed a few of them, to be fair. Ah! A nuke? Mmm, I don't know. I feel like that's the easy way out, bro. Ah, Stoker. Get away from me. Get away from me. Right, okay, Chakrams, here we go. Oh my god, these are so fun. Go away, you big meanie. All right, okay. Is that round? Is that round? Are we getting close? That should be last zombie, yeah? Yes, let's go. Round 20. Off the deep end. Oh, so you get achievements for every spawn room challenge you do. That's really sick, actually. Right, okay. On a nine, I think? Right, okay, then. Here we are. Our second map of the video. Nine. Now, as you can see on the right, we've got the same gobblegums or elixirs or whatever you want to call them as the one we did on Voyage. But I feel like, especially with the fact that we have a little bit of this, if we get five consecutive headshot kills and then go on with the challenges, we can actually get a pack-a-punch gun. Now, albeit only tier one, one, it's something. We also get max ammos every so couple of rounds because they're uh, tigers and stuff like that. So I am quite excited to do this. We've also got this massive training area here since the entire spawn room is just a massive circle. So we could genuinely go for a while here and I'm excited. Okay, let's get that. And then what do we get here? We get another self-revive from that, I remember. Knife kill 13 zombies. Pretty easy stuff. But yeah, we have four self-revives, which is insane. We are going to be going for a while on 9, I have a feeling. I put on a talisman that gives me an extra self-revive as well, which is insane. That's how we have for and I'm, I'm so gassed to play this man. I think what I'm going to do first though is I'm going to pop my shield elixir just because, you know, I want a shield. It's nice to have, means I'm not going to get me getting smacked in the back and all that stuff. And also if we run out of ammo, it's also got some ammo in it, which is brilliant. That's what I love about BO4. Right, okay. Just got to keep my distance a little bit with these zombies now. Don't really feel like downing on round three. Right, okay. I'm just trying to get my knife kills, bro. Let me do my thing. Ooh, double points. Do we really need it for anything? Probably not. Maybe Z Harmony ammo, but I'm not sure. The goal for this one... I'd say it's about round 30. Probably even higher than that. We could go for so long, man. Right, what's our next challenge? And what do you get for this again? Oh, yeah, points. Right, give me that. And then what's next? 
Oh, 10 zombies with my special weapon, bro. Right, let's end this round because we got it charged. It'd be a bit of a waste to use it now. We'll kill these and then use it next round. Right, okay. This looks like the end of the round here. Right. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to pop my wall power. There we go. And I'm going to buy the Essex. Now, you might be wondering, why have you just used the wall power on the Essex? These are literally the only two weapons that I have available to me. I don't think I can do other challenges as soon as I pop this one. And I can't remember if you get anything past the third challenge, as in weapon-wise. For now, the Essex will do. All right, uh, let's wait for these to spawn in. Let's not kill them, because we need it for the challenge. So we can get our pack of and set harmony. Right, okay. Right, okay, here we go. Ten zombies. Easy peasy, bro. We do this in my sleep. Right, there we go. Nice. And there's our Zed Harmony. Lovely stuff, right? We have two Pack-a-Punch weapons on a spawn room challenge without using little to no elixirs. We used one for this one, but, you know. So I have a full round inside the temple. Ah, oh, challenges are botched. That's annoying. But for now, bro, we are chilling. We got two Pack-a-Punch guns. I actually have been kind of excited to get back on the recording grind. I've been working on this massive project I've got coming out on the 9th of April. That is the 9th of April. Mark it in your calendars. Oh, we also got Aftertaste as a random elixir pick. That's really good considering we have Perkaholic. I don't know if if it saves your perks that you get from Perkaholic, or it's just the original four that you have set for your Dano, Razus, and Odin slots. I also put um, Alchemical Antithesis on just because, you know, ammo's probably going to end up being a little bit of a problem. And there might be a point in time where, you know, I don't have enough points to buy any more because these guns are going to fall off eventually. And we've got to be wary of that. Need to remember as well, we've also got the crowd that can chuck us drops. Can't actually remember how it works too much. I know that if you get a green hand, it means you're more likely to get, like, I don't know, like a max ammo or something. Ideally, we'd want, like, a nuker and insta kill or some drop like that, or maybe, like, a full power. Because I feel like our specialist weapon's definitely going to be a crutch, too. Got an insta kill there, going to wait for the next round. Can I just say as well, bro, like, look at the hood on BO4. It's so unbelievably cluttered. It's like half my screen's took up by words and numbers and pictures, bro. This is why BO4 just wasn't that good of a game. The only couple of things I like about BO4 was its innovation. Like, they made the shields, like, really, really buffed. Like I was saying before, and I like the fact that specialist weapons aren't something you have to get. I, I do quite like that. They kind of carried that over to Cold War with field upgrades and made them a little bit worse, which, you know, I really did feel like was a good idea because they are criminally overpowered once you get them to tier 3. There's the Tigers. They do so much damage, but they do 100 damage per hit. That's crazy. Okay, we got a Carpenter there. Oh, yeah, I forgot Carpenters do your shield as well. Bro, we're going for ages. This round 30 is going to be the easiest round 30 I've ever gotten in my life. Or not, I don't know. Because to be fair, BO4 can pull some nasty tricks with its zombies path and also the fire has started on the ground. Got to be wary of that. Round seven. Okay, we are blasting through these rounds, man. Right, I think I'm going to pop my Perkaholic and see what I get. What are we getting? That honestly actually isn't that bad. We got a good amount of stuff there. Victorious Tortoise is great because of the shield. I'm pretty sure that means that we're covered from all angles now, or is that its modifier? I can never remember. We have Dying Wish. That's a second chance. We also have Stone Cold Stronghold. So that means if we stand in a straight position for long enough, we're going to get a little circle around us that slows the zombies down. We've also got Gas Zombie spawning in now. Not really my cup of tea. We've also got a max ammo there. I'm just going to try and use as much ammo as I can. Like I said, if things do get uh, dicey, though, we do have Alchemical. Right, okay, let's reload. And we got Temporal Gift as our random pick, since we only get one of each with the uh, client that I'm playing on here. Hence why I don't have Wraith Fire Grenades on, because progression in this client is just broken. I don't know why. It ups my FPS by like a million, though, so it's perfect. Okay, round eight. We are doing very, very well. We're almost speeding through these rounds here. The fire might be a little bit of an issue, though. I think I just heard a gladiator as well. Try out the Essex here and see how that's doing. That's 30 bullets in a clip. Uh, yeah, there he is. We can pretty much take him down with the Zed Harmony, I'm pretty sure. Oh, let's just be careful. I'm going to grab this nuke, actually. Let's finish them all off. Oh, wait, the nuke killed the gladiator. That's a first. Wait, can we start other challenge banners, or is it impossible? You already have a challenge banner. Cringe. You should be able to do all four, ideally, on solo, man. Okay, there should be Tiger round first, I think. I'm not too sure. Yeah, it is. All right, okay, cool. Bro, without this Zed Harmony, we would have probably been cooked a long time ago. All right, nice. Max ammo straight off the bat. You love to see it. And that is round 10. My God, are we getting through this quick? But it's going to start slowing down now, though. At least a little bit, right? Ah, I'm getting burned. Okay, we've got a full power. Now's probably a really good time to use our specialist then. Try to get this thing leveled up, too, so we can get the level free ability, which I'm pretty sure is just a massive gravity slam or something like that. Also, the, I don't know how well this does against the gladiators. It looks like it's doing pretty well, though. Okay, I need that full power. Oh, I got burned again. Ow. Okay, let's whip this thing back out. This is what I mean, bro. They are ridiculously overpowered. Then again, I'm not complaining. This is why I was so hesitant to do um, BO4 like challenges, because things are just a little bit easier. But then again, I can see how this can be entertaining. And also, we just need to do it because, you know, it's like the final piece in the puzzle. Maybe after this, I'll do Cold War. Who knows? Stay tuned. Another full power, bro. The game is treating me today. Got to get this thing up to level 2 this time, hopefully. Okay, no, you can sort off. Also need to keep an eye out for Blightfathers. They're going to be really annoying. I don't actually know when the Zed Harmony... Zed Harmony? 
<laughs> Zed Harmony starts to fall off. It's not taking that many bullets to kill zombies by the seams of things. But it is definitely taking more than it did, you know, a couple of rounds ago. But like I said, if you look at our points, that is not an issue. Bloody Tiger, get away from me. And that's round 12. Oh my god. Fastest round 30, question mark? We can use a little bit more of the uh, Essex here, I think, this round. Oh, oh, wait, never mind, because it's a Gladiator round already. These guys are a piece of piss, man. Where's he at? Where's he at? Where's he at? Where's he at? There he is. Hello, you big sod. Actually, we'll see how the Essex fares against them. Uh, uh, it just two-shot him. Okay, maybe this thing's actually really good. And we've just been, you know, like, discrediting it because we've been so focused on this bloody pistol because it's so good. But yeah, we'll start using the Essex a little bit more. I'm still yet to get a drop off the crowd, which is a little bit odd considering I've been in here for 13 rounds. Wait, does this thing suck against zombies? It's already three-shot. Are you serious? Oh, hang on, if I hit a head. Bro, it's a two-shot headshot. What is this? Insta-kill. Let's go. Actually, wait, we should probably use the shield for stuff like this. Oh, I didn't mean to pop temporal gift. Actually, you know what? We'll just use our special weapon here. I really want to get it leveled, so we might as well. And it still counts when it's on insta-kill, which is brilliant. Still yet to see a blight father, which is good use. Okay, we got a nuke there. Should we? Yeah, we should pick it up. It'll probably end the round. Yes, no, maybe so. Yeah, okay, round 14. How do we pull out the shield? Is it one? No, is it two, three? No, I just popped another... <sighs> Aftertaste? Okay, I'll take aftertaste to be fair. How do you pull out the shield? C? V? Uh, oh god, I've got a uh, blaze phase or whatever it's called. Oh, it's X! Okay. Right, okay, let's try get, Let's give this a go. Oh, this thing's actually nutty to be fair. If I hit them in the head, yeah, look at that, man. I kind of forget how you recharge it, though. Could really do with the carton that isn't all about half health. Double points? Why on earth would I need the double points, man? Come on. Yeah, this thing is starting to fall off now a little bit. We've got our hammer again, though. This is what I mean. It's going to be the absolute crutch of this run. Bye-bye. Got a fire zombie there. He is no match for my massive Greek hammer, though. And round 15. Bro, we're halfway there already. Jesus. Oh, item available. What they gave me? Uh, an insta-kill. Okay. I'll take an insta-kill. Who wouldn't? We we'll use the Essex a little bit here to try to save on some Zed Harmony ammo. It's not like we're going to get it back, though. Uh, Carpenter, ask it, you shall receive it. That's a blight for the... All right, okay. Let's see how this does. Okay, to be fair, it's absolutely annihilating them. Is this Zed Harmony fully packed? I can't actually tell. Like, usually it falls off about now. Okay, no, wait, no, no it's fallen off, okay. Blightfall is dead, though, which is good, and they are starting to very much so run at me. Right, we've got our hammer again. We'll use this, get rid of this horde. This could end the round, to be fair. Hang on. Do we, do we also have a slam? Yes, we do. Wait, hang on, if we've got a slam now, what's the tier 3 ability? That's round as well, oh my god. A fire sale, bro? There's no box location here. Oh, if there was a box in spawn, it would have been perfect. There should be another gladiator around, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's one of these. Ah, scary! Okay, uh, how's this fair against you? How, how, how do you like this? It seems you can firm it quite well. I'm gonna go buy some Zed Harmony ammo. Okay, how's it doing? Okay, this thing's doing fine. There we go. How many more? Oh my god. Who else wants it, man? Come on now. There you go. Right, give me my max ammo. Very nice. And we also skipped the round. Brilliant. Another item from the crowd, bro. They love me. Another fire. I don't need this fire sale, bro. Come on. Beggars cannot be choosers, though. I respect that. Okay, we've got a full power. This is brilliant. I didn't want to pull this out. All right, there we go. I love overpowered game mechanics. You love to see it. But BO4 really was something else, huh? They really just tried to squash as much cool shit in the game as they could. Okay, and I think we got a level three. Yes, we do. Brilliant. And wow, this pistol has fell off. Look at this. Jesus. Okay, we're gonna have to stop being a bit careful. We also got some gladiators spawning in. This is probably gonna be a lot harder than I thought, actually. Okay, we got another double points. What do I need a double points for? Let's grab some ammo, though. Uh, use the shield a little bit. See how that's faring. Oh, this thing's doing amazing. Jesus. Oh my god, it just killed a gladiator. And again. Okay, we've got a big axe fella here. Get rid of him. Right, there we go. Is he dead? Yes, he is. Once you shoot off his helmet armor, he's gone. All right, there we go. We'll pick up this nuke, and that should be round. Yeah, nice. I'm going to pick up some more ammo for this thing. Item available. Please make it good. It's not a fire sale. Would you give me a full power? I'll take a full power, even though I'm already basically there. Probably a good idea to start making it a priority to charge the hammer, just because, you know, this Zed Harmony is falling off, and God knows how bad this thing's doing. Let's see, actually. Okay, that is like a four-shot headshot. Right, I'm pulling this thing out. Hammer bolt. What does this do again? Oh, it's that. Yeah, it's like the uh, Wonder Wolf thing. The only pity is when you use the hammer bolt, it takes up so much of its charge. What is that? Insta-kill. I will happily take an insta-kill. Makes my life so much easier. Still got a shield, which is really nice to see. I actually wonder how much that's been helping out, just without me even realizing, because you can't really hear them hitting it on BO4. Okay, we've got a gladiator there as well. Ow! Okay, sod off. And that's round Jesus, man. Has Nine got, like, one of the fastest spawn rooms or something? Because I feel like, we, bro, we've only been recording for 20 minutes. I feel like we've been going for, like, five, never mind 20. Can I have an uh, item, please? You said you were going to give me one? Yeah, right, what we got? Full power? I'll take a full power. All right, let's see how it fares against these. Probably pretty well. Yeah, look at that. It's already destroyed his armor. There he goes. Some tigers as well. It should be easy enough to deal with. Bro, I can kill him before he even comes out. Look at this, man. Yeah, this said Harmony has fallen off, though. Like, look at this. It's, 
taken so long to even break one piece of his armor. I didn't even hit his helmet. There we go. All right, nice. Wait, did we just get an achievement for the spawn room challenge? That's insane. Right, okay, another fire sail. I don't need a fire sail, man. What I would appreciate is a carpenter, though, because our shield is running dangerously low and I've got no way to repair it. Another full power, bro. Are you serious? I'm gonna do one of these slam things and spawn in, like, the, uh, the de storm. There you go. Okay, and that's another blight father. Brilliant. Things are starting to ramp up now. Oh, get off me, get off me, get off me, get off me. Oh, my God, electric cherry just saved my life. What is that? Oh, points. I don't need points. Ow, the fire really hurts, man. Could do with a hammer, I won't lie. Come on, charge up, man. Oh, no, 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 no. If that fire comes on now, I'm dead. I'm good. All right, okay, hammer. Let's go. Bye-bye, Blightfather. You're not wanted here, mate. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, chill, chill, chill. Not literally, cold zombie, go away. All right, okay. Use a couple of these, see how that does. Keep using these. It stuns them. Ow, get off me. Okay, give me ammo for this. I need to get rid of these gladiators. This is actually becoming so much more of a challenge. Who would have thought when the round goes up, it gets harder? Ow, go away. All right, nice, 21. A carpenter or something like that, please. A full power? I'll take a full power. Can it go wrong with that? We've got nine rounds to go. We got this, bro. Is that another full power? Okay, okay, right. We've got to be quick here. Let's try to do as much damage with these two as possible. Ah! Get away from me. Bloody hell, man. I can see why they nerfed these so much in Cold War with field upgrades. Okay, give me this. I can keep it out. Nice. Might be able to clear out the full round with this hammer. I don't know. Get rid of this gladiator because he's a really big, annoying git. Right, there we go. Should be coming close to the end of the round now, I reckon. Or like halfway through or something. I don't know. That's another gladiator that I've run out. Carpenter. Uh, oh, wait, no, our shield broke. Are you joking? Okay, now I'm pissed, bro. Come on, man. Oh, I've run out of ammo. Quickly go grab some. Right, it's literally only these elemental zombies left and this big bloody gladiator. <laughs> There's one for the video. Ugh. Oh, come on. Oh, man, just break. There you go. Right. Is that round? Yes. Right. Okay, 22. I'm going to cop some more ammo. We got another crowd affinity item. Come on. Make it good. Full... Bro, how many full powers do these guys want to give me? Right, let's wait for them to spawn in, and then I'm going to start using my hammer. Told you it was going to be one of the biggest crutches. Right, okay. Let's use it. Oh, it just does so well, man. I might swap it out, like, every game or so, depending on what map we're doing. Like, I might do the chakras and stuff. That could be fun. Oh, my God. That's a lot of zombies. Okay, okay. Ow, 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 ow. Chill out. Okay, yeah, this thing has completely fell off. It's really starting to show now. Oh, look at it. Give me some ammo. Oh, Tiger, go away. Bro, they do so much damage. Give me some ammo. Wow, does this thing suck now, man? Look at it. Why would I need a double points, man? Come on, game. Don't do me like this. Then he got a hammer charge, to be fair. We should be all right. All right, okay, it's charged. Let's go. Right, this should probably be round, I reckon. Okay, they're both dead. Use that. Get rid of the rest. There we go. That's round. Nice. Another item. Come on, make it a full power. Come on. What is that? It's a fire sail. Why would I need a fire sail? Oh, this might actually be a little bit difficult considering how bad this weapon's doing now. Oh, my God. Bro, I didn't even break a single piece of armor. There we go. Right, he's dead. As soon as you get the armor out of the way, they're really not that difficult. It's kind of like the panzer. Oh, come on. Ow. All right, there. Go away. Grab some ammo quick. Tigers as well, bro. Who do you think you are? All right, he's dead. Oh, that's a max ammo. Brilliant. That's that round done. Another item from the crowd. What we got here? It is a full power. Lovely. I cannot believe we're on round 24, bro. This is crazy. Okay, let's try use this a bit. We can probably get rid of this blight father nice and easy. Quickly get rid of him before he starts smacking me. Come on. Come on. Yes, there we go. Uh, we got a nuke there as well. I might just honestly grab it. Yeah, I'm going to grab it. Oh, another full power, bro. The game is treating me. Get rid of him. Go away, man. You're not big. You're not scary. Right, okay, let's use the hammer again since we got another full power. Oh, my God. Sod off. They just keep spawning in. Ow, ow. Okay, I'm on 50 HP. I'm on 50 HP. Don't throw your axe at me again, please. Just give it a minute. Ugh. Right, okay. Yeah, there we go. Okay, round 25. You love to see it. I'm so snotty and sniffly, bro. I'm definitely going to have a sneeze and fit, so I'm probably going to have to take a break after I record this one before we do Blood or Classified or whatever's next. Five more rounds, though. We can do this. Easy, easy. Another item from the crowd. Make it a full power. Come on, you've throw me about a million. Oh, fire sale. Right, we're going to have to charge it the old-fashioned way, but first, let me grab some more ammo. To be fair, I reckon we can probably swap Alchemical out for another Elixir on future runs. Oh, Tigers, go away. Oh, my God, does this thing suck now? Jesus, you have to hit head. I just want my hammer, man. We're nearly there, to be fair, actually. Come on. Come on. I need more ammo. Oh my god, there we go. Right, nice. Give. Bye-bye, zombies. Bye-bye, gladiator. Bye-bye, everybody. I try to get rid of both of these with the one swoop. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Right, get rid of you. Get rid of you. There are way too many of them, man. Oh, full power. Give. Ooh. 
We can clear up the rest of this round comfortably now. Brilliant. Oh, Gladiator, that was an absolute jump scare. But no, is this one not called a brawler? I don't know, bro. I don't know the law. Crowd item, you know what I want, bro. You know what I want. You know what I want. Yeah, it's blue. Brilliant, that means that the start of this round is sorted. Oh, my God. Definitely gonna have to change this up, though, when we're doing different chaos maps, because I feel like this hammer is just so overpowered. Oh, God, that really didn't last long at all. Ow. Oh, God, if that fire was on. Oh, 13 HP. No, I'm dead wired. Dead wired? Dying wished. I just risked my life for a carpenter, bro. Oh, Jesus, that is a lot of zombies. Ah, uh, ah, uh, I'm dead here. Ah. Kill the gladiator, though, which is nice. Okay, what perks do we get to keep? Electric cherry. Wow, how generous. Thanks, game. Oh, I'm just dead here. I'm actually dead. Yep, okay, brilliant. I cannot believe we filled it so close. That is so annoying. I died by fire as well. That sucks. Oh, there is just no hope, is there? We've got two more self-revives, to be fair. If I just try and play this right, it could be possible. Why is that? Depend on what that is. It's a nuke. I need the nuke, bro. Let me through. Oh, my God. Even if I can get one more round under my belt, bro, that's progress. Try and get rid of this guy before they start spawning back in. I need ammo. Go away. Right, he's dead. Ah! Oh, fire turned off. Thank you. Oh, God. No, 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 no. Ah! I'm stuck on the bloody stairs. Ah! Oh, my God. No, 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 no. Fire, turn off, turn off, turn off. There we go. Right, okay. Literally, all I ask is one more round, bro. That's all we're gonna survive. My nose, bro. It's so clammy. Ugh. Oh, my God. No, 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 Give me some ammo. Run through the fire because we got the health to do it. Oh, my God. Have we actually survived another round? If it's gladiator around, this could be nutty afterwards. Ah! Careful. Bro, you sod off. Oh, my God. All right, okay. I think we killed the last zombie and we've also got our hammer charge for next round. Oh, let's go. Oh, it's gladiator around as well. Let's go. Okay, this actually could be doable if I just play my cards right. Oh, God. I think I'm having a sneeze and fit midway through recording. This is so bad. <laughs> oh, my God. Brawler, give me a break, man. I can't even use my brain right now. It's just mush. Wait, that, that was it. What? I mean, I'll take a free round, bro. Okay, round 28. We're probably going to die here, but we'll give it a go. Okay, let's use the hammer. Start things off. Try to get a good start. Try to get him stunned here with the, the little Q ability. All right. Oh, I'm cornered. Uh, full power. Full power. No. No, 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 no. Please, 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 please. No. Wait, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Big brain play. Big brain play. Temporal. Does that make it last longer or nah? I don't think it does. I don't think it does. That sucks. Okay, we're not doing too bad here, actually. Could be a lot worse. I know we took it down, but honestly, it's chill, bro. It's not like we don't have any self-revives or anything. Ah, ha, ha. Oh, it's a blight, father. Oh, it might be Jova. What is that? No, no. Ah! Oh! Bro, we got 935 kills. That's kind of sick. Right, okay then. Blood of the Dead. This one, I feel like it's probably going to be one of the hardest. Just not only because the spawn room's absolutely tiny, but there are so many windows in here. It is ridiculous. Plan of action is probably just going to be trying to, like, ride it out. Kind of like we did it with nine. I've got roughly the same gobbles on. I changed a few of them because I don't really think we need any ammo gobbles. I also didn't use the Path of Sorrows because I felt like that would have been too overpowered. And I've instead gone for the Ragnaroks. Like I said, I'm going to be changing them up every map, so... Hopefully that adds some element of difficulty to it. I'm pretty sure this one's going to be quite hard, though, given its size, like I said. I'm also going to teleport this little walnut, because, you know, there you go, bro. Right, okay, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to pop wall power, and then we're going to head up here and hit... Ooh, okay, it's the RK7 in here, not the Strife. That is odd. Oh, that is really odd, actually. Hang on. Is the Strife actually nowhere to be found? Oh, I actually forgot about that. Okay, right. RK7 it is then, I guess. All right, we'll pick this up. So we got the Rapscallion 3D. What a name. And it is still burst, which kind of sucks. But, you know, it's a war weapon after all. You can't be too mad. Right, round three. Uh, I think I'm also going to pop a shield up. Just because the Blood of the Dead shield actually has a really powerful attack. I'm just going to charge it up first. So if I can get myself, like, what? Two shield blasters charged up and ready? That could come in clutch. Right, okay. It's still a low enough round as well to where this isn't going to be hard. As you start climbing the rounds, though, especially if you saw my BO4 solo video, it almost becomes impossible to charge this thing up. I can't actually remember how many charges you get without upgrading the shield, though. Right, okay, I think we're fully charged. And you get two. Okay, yeah, I was right. Well then. Uh... What is this? A insta kill. I'll take an insta kill any day of the week. Means we can get some melee kills in here, but start building up some points straight off the bat. You love to see it. And our Ragnaroks are charged. Not that we need them right now, though, because it is only round four. Might as well buy the Essex now, since, you know, I'm out of ammo on the well end and it doesn't really benefit me in any way other than taking up a weapon slot. We can probably just get away with using the Essex for the majority of these rounds up until about, like, I want to say round 10 is probably when it starts to fall off. But for now, it's still one shot headshot, which is very impressive. Then again, it is only round four. Uh, bonus points. I'll take that. Okay. Okay, yeah, you've really got to hit head with this thing, otherwise it doesn't work. In what world is anybody actually picking up the Essex instead of the uh, RK7 if they're buying a weapon out the spawn room? Like, they really chose a god-tier weapon rival in the RK5 to comparatively... In a 
assault rifle equivalent of, of like, I don't know, the Gua or the Car 90 AK, bro. Because you've got to, like, cock it back as well. It kind of sucks. Still one shot headshotting for now, though. So I'm still going to just use this instead of uh, spending my ammo on my packed gun. Also got a carpenter there, but our shield was fine regardless. Now, compared to nine, we actually have barriers here. So we could probably try and take advantage of those. But by the time we're climbing up to, like, the likes of round 30, they're going to be tore down in seconds. Right, okay, what we got here? Double points. Sure. I'll right, buy some ammo for the Essex. But I reckon for this round, I'm just going to use my Ragnarok to try and charge them up. Because once you get them up to level three, they're quite overpowered. Just like any of the specialists, really. All right, then let's see. I barely ever use these things on BO4. And they are... Wow, that is so underwhelming. Why have they made the slam like that? You actually got, like, a proper good jump with BO3. That is so underwhelming. What if I, like, jump off stage? Okay, yeah, that's more like it. Yeah. All right, okay, that's done. We've also got a nuke here. That's probably going to end the round now that I've killed a bunch of them with my Ragnaroks too. That didn't end the round. Are you serious? It's that last year. What's okay? Right, round seven. Of course, we've got Victus chilling, looking at us, all frozen and stuff. They're here because of the comic or whatever, right? I really don't know much of the zombies' lore, to tell you the truth. Probably would be a good idea to just sit down and, like, you know, listen to it, because I know there's, like, that like, eight-hour video of that guy that made a massive compilation of just him reading out the Cronorium. Oh, that's Brutus. I forgot he exists. Uh, okay, so, yeah, I forgot you're on this map, so can you just do me a favor and chill out? Yeah, there you go. All right, and he drops a Warden's Key, even though we don't even need it, because we have the shield already. All right, okay, I'm just gonna pull out my Ragnaroks again, try and get some charge on them. We're about halfway there to get up to level two, so it shouldn't take much more, really. Oh, bro, I can't wait to have to use the Flamethrower, man, that's gonna suck. Yeah, because we've got Alpha, Omega, and Tag the Totem to play yet. So we can use the other two, and also I think that lines up for Chaos, I'm not too sure. Max ammo, I will gladly take a max ammo. Also, let's try out the Shield Blast that I was cracking on about, let's see how good it really is, because we can probably get a train going around here, I can't even lie. Like, that's not too bad, the Pathfinder on BO4 does make it a little bit hard to train though, like, very hard actually. So if I, like, hop here and then just bang, oh my god, look at that. Okay, the shield is definitely something we're gonna have to, you know, keep topping up, it's like a thunder gun, man. Right, okay, this should be charged again, alright, let's see, fire, there you go. Jesus. Okay, that is really, really good. We cleared out a round in two shield blasts, bro. Okay, just relying on the RK-70. Ooh, a full power. Okay, never mind. We're relying on these fully. Because we can hold them out for a very long time. And also, they got rid of the melee. Or is that some, something that you have to, like, level up on these? I can't remember. Like, if you normally melee with the Ragnaroks on BO3, they kind of just punch out. But I guess not on these. Oh, I can just run into zombies as well. That's kind of sick. Right, okay. Put these away. Get a half on it. And that should upgrade. Yeah, nice. Right, round 10 already. Not too bad at all. I'm going to try to get another charge on my shield here, I think. Okay, and there should be one more, and then we're done. Come on. There we go. Oh, nuke. Okay. Just wondering how we can utilize this, because the round is pretty high, so it's not going to end the round. Might just see how many I can kill before it goes away, and then grab it. Okay, let's grab this now and see how many we can kill. Is it going to end the round? Yes, it did. Okay, perfect. I'm normally quite good at that, to be fair. I like how you can see the Golden Gate Bridge, but they were just like, nah, we're not going to make it a playable area. Nah. Okay, another full power. Right, electrocute. What does this do? Anything? Oh my god, that is sick. I only just realized what that's actually doing. It's like a Wonder Wolf. That's so cool. But why have I just not been using the DG5s? Right, okay, I'm going to grab these again. Like, everyone bigged up the Path of Sorrows like it was, you know, the be-all and end-all of them. And to be fair, it is. But this is cool. I like this a lot. Okay, are we nearly at the end of this run? It really feels like we are. Jesus, man. And the max ammo as well. The game loves me. Also, aren't we meant to be getting dog rounds? I swear there's dog rounds on this. Okay, the RK7 is starting to fall off just a tad. Actually, not to be fair, if you're hitting all three bullets on the head, it's not too bad. It is one shot and with one burst, but that is a lot of ammo being expended. We're charging our Ragnaroks quite quick as well, which is a bit odd. Oh, don't get back into a corner. Jesus Christ. Grab this insta-kill and we use the Essex a little bit here. Oh, 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 oh. Right, okay, we're fine. I think I'm actually going to lob a grenade, bounce it off that pillar, run away, run away. Okay, maybe not. We'll try cook it here and then throw it there. But why do grenades just do nothing on BO4? In comparison with something like Cold War, man. Oh, is that round? Oh my god. Oh, we haven't even popped our Perkaholic, bro. Let's do that now. Uh, what do we get here? We got PhD Slider, Stone Cold Stronghold, uh, Electric Burst, uh, not really too much there. Bandly or Bandit's good for ammo, but to be fair, we got enough points to buy ammo, it doesn't really matter. Uh, we'll use the Ragnaroks again. Try to get these up to level 3. Probably not gonna happen, though, but we'll try. I didn't actually realize how different these were from, um, the DG4s and BO3. I thought they were literally just carbon copies, and that is Brutus. Go away, man. He should give us a drop, though, now that he's dropped the Warden's Cave, I'm not mistaken. Uh, zombie points. I don't actually need that. Okay, there we go. He's dead. And what's he dropping? A double points. Yep, yeah, because I really need points. Cheers. Uh, Carpenter will take.
mistake, though. That is actually very useful. See, look, look, bro, look how fast they're tearing down those barriers. That's ridiculous. Ah, scary. Okay, how many bursts is this? It's still one to the head, to be fair, but you got to aim in with it. Oh, we've run out of ammo, but our Ragnaroks are charged. That's very clutch. Try get these things level three. I don't know if it's going to happen, though. Come on. More zombies, please. Anything? Come on, one more. Did we get it? Yes, nice. Okay, I think... Once you go to level 3, you get the place down ability from BO3, which could be crazy. I think I'm going to whip out the shield though here and just, you know, finish these guys off. And there you go, that ended the round. Perfect. Right, grab some more RK7 ammo, which is just... Oh, never mind, Max Ammo's sitting up here for me. Right, what do we have available to us? We have Arsenal Accelerator. We also have Power Keg, which is... A full power drop. We also have always done swiftly. That's not really useful to me. And lucky crit. That's also not useful to me. Brilliant. Too useful to not. Not that bad. To be fair, running trains in here, not that difficult if you try to like keep on top of the spawns. Electric burst could potentially mess me up though. What did we get there? We got a points drop. I don't need it, but I'll pick it up. Ah! Right, okay, we're going to use this. Bye-bye. Come on. There you go. That's so glitchy. I don't know why. Almost cost me a, a down on all my perks, bro. Come on. This is what I mean. It comes progressively harder and harder to actually get the uh, shield key to thingy. Like, that's that's one charge. And then we need another couple. Ah, uh, what? Cartman right now would be mint. Right, we have two charges back on it. Brilliant. We also have a Ragnarok charge. We have some ammo in this. Things are going good. Things are going very, very good. Oh, full power. Okay, right. What if... Wait, so power plant. Put them on the, put them on the ground like that? Yeah, and it does the thing from BO3. Sick. I have an idea, though. So, if we just kind of chill here a sec and, you know, kill these zombies that are coming through, let them all pile up there, and once these start to run out... I'm gonna grab this, and then we can slam. Brilliant. Now, that is how you optimize a drop. Another, bro, how many full powers does the game want to give me? Right, we can save that for next round, then. Jesus. Hey, okay, Brutus is spawning in again, so I think it'd probably be a good idea to whip these out. Does it actually affect them, or does it just stun them? I can't actually tell. I might power plant on the stairs here. Yeah, we might as well. Right, what does it do to Brutus? Oh, my God, it actually lifts them up. What? It does, like, the same thing it does to the Panzer on DE. That's so sick. Right, I've got to be careful. Is that another Brutus spawning in? That's really not good. Oh, he's right next to the ammo. Uh, oh, why, 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 why? Oh, my God. No, we broke my shield. Move. Oh, my God. Dying wish. Come on, man. Oh, move, please. Move, 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 move. Nuke, nuke, nuke. Save me. Yes. Yes. Oh, we actually got to keep our perks. Thank, thank God for dying wish. I just ran out of ammo. That was stupid. We actually could have just lost everything there. Right. Get rid of you. Why did it spawn two in? That's so annoying. And it gives me max ammo there. Brilliant. Oh, we lost our shield, though. That sucks. Yeah, and this RK7 has fallen off. Let's try to train up as many as we can, and then we'll pull out the Ragnaroks. You did get quite a good loop in here, but... Like I said, the spawns really make it difficult. Uh, right, okay. Let's whip these out, and then... Uh, what? 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 What did, what did I just get downed by? What was that about? Bro, is someone hacked into my... What did I actually just get downed by there? Oh, oh, brilliant. At least we got to keep time slip, you know? The most useful perk out of the bunch that I had, and we're dead here. Wow, how did things go so bad so quick? And a carpenter that I could have used, like, a million years ago. Jesus, get me up, get me up, get me up. I'm going to pop Arsenal. See if we can get a Ragnarok charge going. Ah! Ah, let me fast. Okay, man, I gotta at least get a 20. Come on. Okay, we are dealing with this horde pretty well, to be fair. Let's see if we can end the round. Yes! Right, get a 20, get a 20. The only reason why I went for 30 on 9 is because that map is notoriously, like, massive for its spawn room. And, you know, it's a lot easier than Blood of the Dead Richthofen's Laboratory. I'm just trying to think what the play is here. Oh, we have a power keg, to be fair. We can just utilize the Ragnaroks. Right, actually, we'll just whip out the Ragnaroks now. Try to get as much damage done with these. And then we'll spawn in another full power and then call it a day. Because that should be round 20, hopefully, by then. All right, 6... Uh, grab it now. Right, we've had like a minute of this. Hopefully, this should be enough to end the round. I really don't know, though. Ugh. Right, okay. Fire out some electrocution things. See how that does. Oh, my God, yes! Wait, is there an achievement for every time you get to round 20? On beautiful in the spawn room. That's sick! Right, okay, we did it. Round 20. Nice. Okay, on up. Right, okay, this is probably going to be the hardest one. Classified. Now then, we have access to the Strife. We also have access to this little thing over here. And it's a pity we don't have access to the mugs. It's like right there, man. It replaces the MPL. But this is the spawn room challenge. We are not allowed to open any door whatsoever. We are allowed to buy wall buys. We are allowed to buy, well, use gobble gums. We are allowed to use our util. And we're allowed to use our specialist. And that is it. No doors under any circumstance. Oh, it feels good to be back on Classified. Like I said in many different videos, this is one of my favorite BO4, if not my favorite BO4 map, because not only is that rounds thing, I just... Oh! 
Amazing. Reminds me of Shadows of Evil. I have a lot of personal ties to this map, and I'll explain that later on in the video, but for now, we're going to pop some wall power, and we're going to grab ourselves a strife, and this camo looks amazing. I forgot how good it is. It's just like a massive document. It's so sick. And I'm also going to grab the Essex. And for now, I'm just going to use the Essex to get through these earlier rounds, because it one-shot headshots them. Some bonus points here. You love to see it. All right, round three. To be fair, the five spawn room has one of the fastest spawns. So I'm quite excited for this. We could possibly run a train, like, around here. Like, maybe. I don't know. I don't know how to approach this. This round 20 we've got to get to as well. That is high. Uh, I think for now, actually, I'm going to pop Arsenal Accelerator. I don't really want to pop anything else. Could have got a shield there, to be fair. But getting our specialist weapon to tier three, especially with the Ragnaroks, is definitely key. Because it could alter the way anything goes in this game. All right, okay. They're ready, but I'm also going to wait till next round so we're not wasting it. Because I feel like there's only, like, two zombies left of this round. Right, okay, nice. Grab this carpenter, why not? Barriers are quite important on the earlier round. Stops them from coming through. Man, like, Abe Lincoln. Then you got, like, George Washington over here, bro. Like, I knew these guys way back, man. Like, me and George Washington, bro. Don't know if you saw my recent tweet, but me and him have been in, like, a bit of beef. Me and Abe, though, we go back, though. Rest in peace, my man. Fly high. <laughs> okay, that was really hard to keep up, but I was, like, laughing off, like, with a straight face. <laughs> I hate laughing at my own jokes, but when I'm sat here talking to nobody, which is effectively what every YouTuber does, you do start to laugh at your own jokes, and it starts to happen mid-conversation with people as well, and people think you're a twat. I'm going to shut my mouth now. <laughs> it's not that I find myself funny. Well, I do to an extent sometimes. It's just like I'm so used to talking to myself at this point now that, you know, my own jokes have become my own humor. All right, round five. All right, that was a fast dog run, bro. I really didn't say anything because how fast it went. Jesus. Right, okay. I'm going to pop in a shield because, you know, shields are going to be really good for this since it's so thin. Like, the walkways around here are probably going to be the reason why we die. Like, when it starts to get up to round 15, I've noticed shit goes from, like, 0 to 100, so it's them last five rounds where shit can grow it really good tits up. Zed Harmony is actually one of the best pack-a-punch starting weapons next to the Mustang and Sally's, man. It's so fun to use. It's like a Cap 45 on absolute steroids. You're 30 bullets in a mag. It's ridiculous, and it's so powerful. Double points, I'll definitely take that. I really thought five spawns would have been a lot slower than this. Faster, sorry. But I guess not. Okay, the Essex is still, like, you know, actually work and that's kind of crazy look at it go oh my god you're not this good chill out all right let's grab this nuke we're still yet to use our bloody ragnaroks we really should though because we need to get them leveled okay yeah the essex is dropping off oh my god ah! who knew in a round it could fall off that hard right okay ragnaroks let's see then before i forget again right of course they're amazing why wouldn't they be i'd be shocked if they weren't killing zombies at round seven to tell you the truth bro it's so weird how you slide with things on bo4 like on bo3 they actually mastered all the animations for the weapons like i can't like everything on that game is so seamless but with this it's just so weird like you kind of like toss your gun to the side first i don't get it a lot of the stuff with bo4 just feels unnecessary like they removed some of the coolest features like when you used to slide with the ragnaroks you kind of tilt the other one to the right and when you'd melee with the ragnaroks in bo3 you'd punch them with the thing rather than you know pulling out the knife which was just weird to me oh no you don't pull out the knife sorry you kind of just slam i don't know it changed a lot of unnecessary things but they also add some really cool things in the bo4 so it's kind of hard to comment about it really all right okay we should be nearly done with round eight now yes no maybe so yes we are right okay i'm gonna grab some strife ammo we are yet to see a dog round do they start on round six or ten on this because i know for a fact they're wrong classified i just can't remember if they only start coming if you turn on the power no so this clock being missing is just such a weird detail like when milo and jason blundell had that interview about bo3 god knows how long now oh my god okay things are starting to pick up the pace a little bit now just got to be careful oh uh, i don't like it right ragnarok here we go so like, look this is what i'm saying man if you're sliding on bo3 that usually like i don't know how to describe it he like slides with the ragnarok rather than against it and also the slam is just so much more underwhelming man i think i said this on blood oh okay so dog rounds are a thing even if the power's off i respect that you know what i respected more though the pentagon thief but that does not line up with the zombie storyline at the time which is just a shame really when this map got announced i was so looking forward to seeing the pentagon thief again it was just like nah bro he ain't here all right nice round 11 nine more to go Ooh, little full power you love to see it uh, I'm actually going to use this straight off the bat. We might as well. I'm trying to get these leveled so I can use the other abilities because they're very useful. Probably end up clearing the round with this, to be fair. Uh, let's see. Are we actually going to be able to? Am I lying? Yes, I am. Ooh, insta-kill. You'd love to see it. And there you go, round 12. Brilliant. I think I'm going to pop Arsenal Accelerator once this next round starts. All right, okay. Let's give the shield a go then because the submachine gun on this thing is unmatched when it comes to doing these challenges. And also, we've just used like so much of its durability. Let me out the corner. No, it's going to break. No! Oh, you're joking. That was such a stupid down. Oh, pull these out. Electrocute, electrocute, electrocute. Come on. Oh, my God. All right, come on. Are we done? Yes. Okay, right, round 13. We're getting there. We're getting there. 
Uh, I think what I'm going to do now, actually, is I'm going to pop, like I said, Arsenal Accelerate at the start of this round. I completely forgot, bro. I've got, like, dementia. It's so over. Bro, they did my boy Quick Revive dirty, man. They even put a skeleton in replace of it. Right, okay. Pop Arsenal Accelerator now. Never mind. We got a full power. Okay. See, something I've found with this challenge that we've been doing, we've been getting so many full power drops. It's ridiculous. How common actually are they? Like, what's the, th the statistics on them? Because with BO4, there's, like, a lot of drops in them. There's, like, the, the zombie points that you can get now. There's the full power. Then there's, you know, the original four so it's like what like just shy of a 18 19 percent chance of getting it i don't know i don't know how equal they all are uh bash and our shield's broken brilliant okay this is actually starting to get quite difficult um i also don't want to get cornered move 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 max ammo i will happily take a max ammo okay this should be round yes okay six more to go we got this bro what do you even mean okay that's another full power okay i have an idea i have an idea whip these out use them and then we'll pick up that full power in a sec Okay, let's see how well this does then, because this electrocute feature usually gets the majority of them. Like, I can literally just stand here and it'll do bits. Right, okay, pick this up now. Look at this, man. We're just clearing out the round. Absolutely clearing house. Oh, the DG5s are actually great, man. I respect the fact they didn't just port them from BO3 and actually did try to build off of them rather than, you know, just copying them in. And also, I think that's round. And another full power. This is what I mean, bro. My man Roosevelt there, just, you know, kind of, kind of chilling. Okay, it's round 15. I'm still going to use the Ragnaroks because, like I said, I'm trying to get them level 3 so we can get the power plant thing because that is going to be super useful for these last couple of rounds. Probably could have got it earlier if I started using my Ragnaroks a bit earlier, but I was just a bit, a little bit of an idiot. Um, If you slide and then jump, it's a lot more satisfying, actually. So hang on. Uh, uh. Yeah, look at that. Okay, we ran out. What we got there, that's an insta-kill. That would be greatly appreciated. Oh, wait, no, that's a nuke. Why did I... Bro, I saw that as an insta-kill. My eyes are playing tricks on me. Okay, that's round. Oh, that ended the round? That'll do, to be fair. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to spawn one of these in. Just so we have Ragnaroks going into the round. It's dog round as well. Nice little round skip. You love to see it. Oh, go away. There's too many of them. Ah, ah. Right, okay. Three more rounds. We've got this. Oh, okay, Ragnaroks. Here we go. Oh, this should be level three by now, man. It's like a slither off. I hate when that happens. Just going to keep using the electrocute thing because it's super good. Kind of just walk around and they all die. When right, there, it's level three now. Mint. Really want to end this round, though. I won't lie. Are they still spawning? Are you joking? Oh, wait, no, there we go. Right, that's round. Right, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pop Perkaholic because things are getting hectic. What have we got? We got Winter's Whale. We got Bandolier Bandit. We've also got Ethereal Razor, Deadshot, PhD Slider, and Electric Burst. Okay. Could you imagine how overpowered Perkaholic would actually be if it gave you all of the perks rather than just, you know, like, 6 plus 4? That'd be insane. Oh, it's spawning dogs now as well. Oh, my God, man. Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. This is actually so bad. This is, like, the hardest one we've done yet. Why is it so hard to get to round 20, bro? Why is it always 20? No, 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 no. Witness will save me. Right, okay. Okay, okay. Ragnarok, save me. Here we go. Right, I'm going to wait till they get about half, then I'm going to slap them down for a power plant. Right, okay. Put them down now. See how that does. They're all getting absolutely annihilated. You love to see it. Oh, that was definitely the play there, like. Right. It's nice how you don't have to pick them up, like, in BO3 as well. Right, one more round. One more round. I'm going to pop an aftertaste, actually, because if we down, it means we won't lose our perks. Pretty self-explanatory. And we got an insta-kill. Oh, my God. That has changed everything. Okay, buy some ammo quick so we can take advantage of the insta-kill and not look like an idiot halfway through it. What is that? A double points. Don't actually really need that, but, you know, I'll take it. Okay, Ragnaroks are ready. Let's go again. Get some electrocution going on. And I might power plant halfway through like before. Yeah, I'm going to do that now, actually. There you go. Kill these guys. And is that round? I should be just about. Come on. Max ammo. Yeah, the highest offers as well. We get a nice little achievement for that, too. Oh, you love to see it. All right, next map. Pop this, and we're going to grab a Z Harmony. And wow, does that pack a bunch camo look good? Like, this is one of the BO4 pack a bunch camos that I fuck with heavily, bro. All right, okay, let's see then. Let's see how high of a round we can get because this spawn room's pretty tight, I won't lie. Got how many windows? You got one, you got uh, two, you've got. Is there only two windows? Nah, you're joking, man. Hang on. One, two. Bro, there's only two windows. Wait, I can, can I just sit here? Oh my god, this might actually be, like, ridiculously easy. Okay, I'm gonna get myself a little shield. And, of course, it's the same one from Voyage. You love to see it. And for this one, like I said at the start, I'm gonna be, you know, like, trying to change it up with every specialist weapon. We have got the Viper and Dragon. So that means, for Ancient Evil, we're gonna be using the Scepter of Ra, which I'm kind of familiar with since I used it for many of the Easter eggs in the BO4 video. But the Viper and Dragon, bro, I've barely ever used. This might actually be a little bit boring if all I've got is this little room to play about in. I've kind of forgot 
got it was like verructified in the sense that you know it's like half. I don't know if you spawn in on two different sides on co-op since I've not really played much of BO4 co-op. But yeah, I actually kind of forgot that was the dig with this spawn room. Good job we spawned in on this side then, because if we had the Essex bro, we would have been cooked. Right, and we have the Viper and Dragon. We can use that next round. This one could actually be pretty speedy then. We are on two minutes in and we're only on round four. That is insane. Okay, let's have a look at this then. We got like, you know, the the swinging of the viper. That's kind of cool. We've got the shotgun. Is the shotgun infinite ammo? Okay, right, it is. I've just never used the thing before, so it's kind of weird. I suppose it's given you best of both worlds. You've got like, you know, the melee on the viper. And then you've got, you know, the buckshot shotgun on the uh, dragon, which is quite sick. But at the same time, it was a little bit slow there, so I don't know if I'm going to be a fan of it. But, you know, that's the reason why we changed things up, bro, because we got to challenge ourselves just that little bit. We got full powers there off that zombie, so we can definitely be using that. Right, okay, I think I'm going to actually whip it out again, because I want to try to get this thing leveled, because I have genuinely never, ever seen this thing leveled past level one. The only time I've literally used it is it's been a mistake, bro. Like, I forgot to put on the um, Hammer of Valhalla or something like that. Wow, it really doesn't last long either. I don't know if every specialist has the same timer on it, and I'm just having placebo effect, but that felt a lot shorter. Right, okay. Round six. Okay, things are starting to pick up now. There's still no match for my rapid fire pistol, though. Like I said, this thing is like a cap 40 on steroids. And also, if you don't like the fact I'm using mega elixirs, bro, how else do you expect me to get around 20 in a room like this? Like, look at the welling, bro. You really think I was going to get around 20 with the welling? Shut up, man. Nah, I'm joking. I kind of see your point, and I also kind of don't because I feel like the video would just be so much less entertaining. If I got to like round eight every run, do you get what I'm trying to say here? I hope you do. Okay, we got a full power there, so that means we should probably take advantage of the full charge that we already have. I don't know how much of a fan of melee I am. It kind of has to, like, recharge. I don't know how to explain it. Well, it doesn't, but it does. It has an animation of recharging. But you don't actually have to wait for it. Okay, let's grab this full power again so we can use it next round. Since I'm pretty sure this round should be cleared. And it definitely will be with that nuke. Okay, let's whip the Viper and Dragon back out. Let's see how we're doing. I doubt it'll come to a point where this thing won't one-shot. I really hope that's not a thing. Because it does seem to be annihilating. It's like a mini blunder guy. I kind of dig it. It also kind of reminds me of, like... I don't know if you guys play a lot of Overwatch, but you know, um, what's his face's weapon? Roadhog's weapon. It kind of reminds me of that. And also, we have upgraded it to level two. Nicely done. Like, I've stressed throughout this entire video, getting these to level three is probably, like, the utmost important thing so you can do as much damage as possible. Because the strife does start to fall off. Okay, we got a Carpenter there to repair my fully health shield. You know, you love to see it. Get away from me! Oh my god! Okay, we've run out of ammo on this as well. Gotta be careful. I think I'm gonna save this charge for next round, just because, you know, there's not really that many left. Get away! All right, there we go. Round ten. Well, we are less than 10 minutes in and we're already on round 10. That's actually kind of crazy. Full power means we got to take advantage, bro. Right, swing viper, fire dragon. Right, that doesn't do anything. Can you just fire them faster? Is that the only upgrade? Oh, wait, no. He's doing like a double swing with the viper now. Okay. That's quite sick, actually. Okay, let's pick this full power back up. That's happened twice now. That's actually quite cool. Max ammo as well. Yeah, the amount of full powers we'll be getting in this video has been like suspicious. I promise, bro. No mod menu. Look at this. Aim and knife. Nothing. I'm not complaining about the amount we've been getting, but like it has been taking the piss a little bit. Like, All right, okay, let's whip out the Viper and Dragon again then. We've literally just been using the Specialist weapon, man. Barely even been using my Z-Harmony. Oh my god, its pistol is so good. Jesus, look at that. Oh my god, we already cleared the round. That is ridiculous. I'm gonna spawn in a uh, full power here just because I actually want to use that again to see how fast we can clear a round out. Let's see. All right, okay. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Oh my god, that is so overpowered. That's ridiculous. I'm quite excited to see what that thing can do level three. I wonder what its special ability is because regardless of what one you have, even if it just increases its speed for the level two, I'm pretty sure all of them have a proper special ability for level three. Okay, we got an insta-kill there oh my god don't die don't die don't die don't die grab the insta kill go 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 right use the well in a little bit here oh vampires are spawning in now cringe don't like it kind of forgot they existed their bites last forever as well that is a massive issue right the dragons are ready go away man right are we nearly at the end of this round we should be all right never mind this nuke should clear it out okay yeah this is kind of where the strife starts to fall off but let's get this thing level then we'll worry about that okay let's try to do that fucking tactic we were doing before all right left right left right left right left Right. That's actually so fun. Right, that should be level three. Yes, it is. You love to see it. Vampire, go away. Don't bite me. Oh, you're going to bite me, though, aren't you? No, you're not. Jesus, this is getting hectic now. Okay, shield. Oh, I might have to shield bash here. I don't know. Oh, my God. Reload. Hurry up. Whatever this is, I need it. Max ammo. Brilliant. And also, our specialist weapon's almost charged. I really didn't think we were going to get past round 10 in this room, to be fair. It's tiny. Also, Dead of the Night, in my opinion, no offense, has to take the cake for overcomplicating the most simplest things. Like, why have I got to do three crystals for Pack-A-Punch, bro? Like, come on now. All right, I'll tell you what we're going to do. Can you sod off? Oh, no, 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 no. I didn't get a chance to bash. Oh, never mind. We're chilling. Right, okay. Throw Viper. Oh, my God. This thing's actually kind of cool. Bro, that's actually so sick. Oh, this also triple fires now. Okay, Vampire. Get away from me, man. Oh, full power. I need that. You don't know how much I want that. Give. 
give, give. We don't have a shield anymore. I need to be wary of that. That's round, though. Nice. Double points. You love to see it. Oh, vampire, get away. Get away, get away, get away, get away. Ooh, okay. Thank God we had that charge. That probably would have been dead there. The fact it gets a triple shot as well is an absolute W for me. And we're back to using the strife. Annoying, but... Oh, my God. I keep getting pushed back to here. This is getting really, really bad. Oh, my God. The clutch. The absolute clutch. Okay, that is round. You love to see it. Kind of surprised that this map doesn't have a uh, special zombie round. I really thought it was just going to be like a straight vampire spawning in or something like that, but nah. Okay, we ran out of ammo at the start of a round. That's poor for me. Oh, it might be over. Oh, yeah, okay. That was fully deserved. I didn't even check my ammo, bro. Jesus. Right, let me up, let me up, let me up, let me up. Jesus Christ. Oh, I've run out again. No, you're joking. Oh, we killed basically all of them with that grenade, though. It's fine. All right, we got one more self revive. We've got to make it count, man. Oh, my God. No, you're joking. That insta kill is vital. Oh, Oh, no, why? Oh, bro, we need that insta-kill. We might be able to save it for next round, to be fair. Then the round after, we could use our vipers? I don't know. Oh, I didn't expect there to be that many zombies left. I'm going to pick it up now. Right, okay, that is round, though. Nice. No more self-revives, though. we got to be on our toes. Okay, let's see how many we can kill with the rest of this insta-kill, then. Oh, not many, I'd imagine. Okay, right, not many at all. Let's see how many we can kill with this. This should be a few. Oh, I don't know if we're going to make it a 20, man. That sucks. If I just aim for the head, we actually could be okay. What is this? A fucking carpenter. Are you jo- Bro! Oh, that's annoying. That's like one of the only ones we failed. All right, whatever. Next map. Ancient Evil, the last chaos map. And round one is probably the fastest we'll ever have. Oh, you must acquire the Sentinel artifact. Are you joking? Oh, you're not allowed to do the trials without turning on the power. That sucks. Where's the strife at? There's the strife. There's my favorite wall pistol. Right. Wall power grab. Z harmony. You love to see it. And as promised, our specialist weapon is the Scepter of Ra, as it is the only one we haven't used. So yeah, the Ancient Evil Spawn Room is a very, very weird one, in my opinion. You've got this big, like, you know, temple of whatever over here, and then you've got, like, this massive area over here. Like, that is ridiculous. You can run a full train around there. This could be insane. We've got Bruno talking to himself in his head because, you know, he's infected with whatever. He has, like, that eye on the top of his head. I don't know why. The Chaos Law never really made sense to me. I don't know. It was never actually in the zombie storyline either, like, in the Chrono so i've literally never even heard of like why stuff happens in the chaos i'm, I'm not even sure people know why stuff happens in the chaos storyline okay we got the scepter of raw gonna wait till next round which it is here already my god we are getting through this fast i've noticed that the starting rounds on buell fall do go extremely quick and i don't know why okay oh my god i didn't even get a chance to put a word in around four there i was just like mind off brain on bro i was like aim training on those zombies i do apologize okay we'll use the scepter of raw this round then jesus i can't remember if there's a special round on ancient evil i really can't remember at all. all right, okay, I'm going to wait for the insta kill to wear off because I feel like we're wasting it. And then we'll pull up the scepter of raw because I need to get that thing leveled regardless. Right, okay, let's use this thing now. It's literally like an origin staff. I love it. It's like a constant origin staff. I don't know how to explain it. Like, the origin staff's never really had like a constant beam like this. It's really, really nice, actually. You can just mow through them. It also lasts ages, man. Jesus. This is what I was saying before. I don't know if it's placebo. Does every specialist weapon have the same time or is it different per weapon? Now, that is a question for the people in the comments. So I'm going to grab myself a shield oh this map actually has a different shield yeah it's the uh, apollo's will this thing's actually goaded i forgot how good this shield is like watch this bro they're gone such a goaded shield man is it just me who gets the little weird vibe that you know when you play black ops 4 sometimes it doesn't even feel like treyarch made it like that ui there does not feel like treyarch made that stuff I, I don't know if that's just me but you know oh my god this shield is so good i remember using it for the easter egg when i was getting so frustrated with that bloody skeleton step when you gotta let him destroy the wall for those of you who haven't actually seen my bo 4 video i would highly recommend it because that is one of my best videos on the channel i like to think um um, we are also getting cornered by four zombies here. Um, yeah, that is one of my favorite videos that I've ever made. So if you haven't watched that, you should definitely should go check it out. Um, I don't want to grab that full power for the sake of one zombie kill, but it probably looks like we're going to have to. Come on. Okay, whatever. I also need some strife ammo, which is no problem at all, considering we have 10k points on round seven. And it's just over here. I almost accidentally just bought that door. Okay, right. Let's put out the scepter of Ra once again. Oh, you can melee with it. I like that. Okay. Elemental zombies are starting to spawn in. Not really a fan of that, but you know. Oh, I love the melee on that thing. It's like a proper barge. Oh, this thing does kill them quite slowly, though. Might get better as we level it up. Okay, we've got a max ammo there. Very nice. 
It means I get to save on the points I'm not going to spend anyway. Cheers, game. All right, nice. That's round. Round eight. We are getting through this super quickly, as per usual. Look at these old guys, bro. What are they doing? But one of them fell over. Pick my boy up. But yeah, you get a ridiculous amount of ammo with this thing as well. I think it's like 16 spears, and they do that much damage. And also, yeah, I forgot we got skeletons. Got to aim for the head with those guys. Uh, Apollo's. Will got a little repair there. You'll have to see it. I also want to get rid of this skeleton because they are super annoying. They do a ridiculous amount of damage as well for no reason. Okay. Pull out the scepter here. The control to fire it on PC seems to be bugged a little bit. I don't know when I'm trying to, like, click it. It doesn't click sometimes if that's why it looks like I'm just holding out for no reason. Another full power, bro. Honestly, right? Whoever can count the amount of full powers I got in this video is getting pinned comment. I, I confirm that to you now. And if I don't, you can slate me as much as you want. But I'm actually curious because I feel like we've gotten so many. This should also be level two by now, I think. I don't actually know what you get for level two, though. Hopefully, it's like a grenade variant of some kind because that thing takes forever, man. And that's round. Okay, round ten. Oh, the progression here is insane. It's currently quarter to 11 where I'm recording this from, you know, the UK, and I am knackered, bro. I'm going to take a nice long shower after I finish this recording because I am genuinely battered. And I don't know why, because I haven't even been to college today. I had like a migraine midway through the night, and bro, they hurt so bad. Okay, I'd kind of like my scepter now, please. Oh, we've run out of ammo. Oh, okay, use the shield, use the shield, use the shield. Oh my god, let me through. I can't see a thing, man. Okay, I'm using all my shield thingies here. And um, we're out of spears, okay. See, the usual thing you do when you run out of spears is go over there and buy more, but we don't even have the thing built, and we can't even open the door to get there because it's not part of the challenge. All right, okay, that's round, lovely. Right, I'm going to use the scepter for the majority of this round. Uh, what do we get? Uh, is it just a cooler melee? Um, I don't actually understand what we got. Oh, no, you can just melee way faster, I think. Okay, let's see the beam then. The beam's a little bit more powerful, I think, as well. Seems to be, anyway. Okay, not too bad. Definitely one of the weaker specialist weapons, though. Oh, full power. Let's get this thing up to tier three. I'm really disappointed at the fact we can't do challenges, though. I really thought that was going to be a massive game changer. I was expecting, like, round 30 on this one, but clearly not, because you need the central artifact on. Otherwise, there was the power. All right, that's round. Nice. And that should be charged at tier three, I hope. Yes, it is. Lovely. It means we get the little beacon, like the little, um, what do you call it? Like the surrounding bubble, which is quite sick if you're actually stuck in a sticky situation. Max ammo. Nice. Wait, does that do a shield as well? Yes, it does. I love using this shield, man. It's so satisfying. Don't care what anyone says. Ancient Evil was just a good map as well, man. Okay, we got a nuke there. Don't know if I want to grab it just yet, though. Okay, use the shield. The shield's actually not even bad for getting you out of, like, corners and stuff, man. Criminally underrated. All right, let's see then. Does this round end because of that nuke? I'd imagine not. No. Still got some skillabobs. Oh, there you go. Once we kill the skeletons, they're dead. And the round ended. Brilliant. All right, grab some ammo. And um, we get to use the scepter this round again. Mint. Uses tier three ability for those of you who've not seen it. I'd imagine there's a, probably a select few of you who've not played BO4. Oh, we ran out of, um... Bloody spears already, I didn't even realise. Okay, right, let's see this then. It looks so cool when it's fully levelled, man. All right, okay. Cue the plant the scepter. Yes, look at that. Nothing can get through now. You love to see it, man. Oh, we can extend this for ages. We've got a full power. All right, let's grab it now so we can pull it back out. I think I might just use the beam on it for now, though. Oh, we are stuck in a corner. Is that round? Should be close, right? Oh, come on. Stop spawning, you little knobs. Yeah, there we go. Oh, Blightfather, Carpenter. No, that's our first down. Are you serious? That's such a dumbass down. Okay, we're up, we're up, we're up. Um, I'm going to pop this. Hurry up, grab it, and then plonk this thing down. There you go. It kills them all, and we can focus on this blight. Get off me. Off. Oh, my God, he can come through. Why? Why is that a feature? Oh, we're down again. Wait, what? You get picked up in this? Bro, that's so sick. I thought I just lost another self-revive. I thought I was being revived by, like, a ghost. Right, okay. Just use the shield to take care of the rest of the... Oh, wait, no, we have no bloody bullets in it. All right, okay, round 15. Things are picking up now. You know, as they have been every other time, but, like, I'm saying. Once it hits 15, shit really starts to hit the fan. Oh, my God, them skeletons actually really do hurt. No, oh, full power, I need. Spawn it in. No, not the that. Plonk this down. There you go. And we can chill again. Scepter of Raw is actually goaded once you get a tier 3. Probably gonna have to move in a sec, though, just because they are piling into here, and I don't like it. Okay, let's move now. I think I might just use the shield barge on this thing, to be fair with you, because the spear actually kills a lot of them at once. It just does a lot of the durability of the shield. What we got there, it is a bonus point. Not that I even need it. And that is round. Okay, we're doing very well. I'm going to pop a accelerator here, just because I want to grab the scepter of Ragan as fast as I can. It appears to be our only crutch. Um, I'm going to also grab some strife ammo really quick. Okay, we're getting close to getting it again. Oh, why did we down? Are you joking? Why is it always round 16, bro? Oh, 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 I hate this, bro. Oh, my God, the shield is actually so goated. Right, okay, let's use this. Try to get rid of, rid of many as we can. You know, use the melee a little bit here since it is kind of goated. Um, come on. Yeah, we go. Right, nice. Round 
you love to see it. I realise I've been saying that a lot, but like my brain is on autopilot right now. I just want this to be over. I'm gonna pick up pop shocks, why not? Five melees, okay. What we got there, max ammo. It's not really that useful. I would have rather like an insta kill or something. Oh my god, you're joking again? When I said I wanted it to end, I wanted it to end on a high note, man. What is that? Okay. This could be ended on a high note. Let's let's just calm down. Give. Oh, 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 oh my god. No way we died to a reload. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Back off, back off, back off, back off. No way we tie on insta kill. Oh my god, that's so annoying. Right, okay, our last, actually second to last, Ether map. Alpha Omega. Now, this is a very, very weird spawn room. Like, this is probably the smallest one we're going to do throughout the entire video. Actually, wait, no. Was classified smaller? I can't really tell. I don't know which one's the smallest one, but this one is definitely up there for small sp spaces. Right, okay, let's pop ourselves a wall power, and we'll grab the strife. As per usual, get the Z harmony. That looks so not green bro that is horrid that who thought that pack a punch camo was a good idea man could they have not made it like electricity or something you guys remember like the afterlife camo from um bo2 they could have made it like that you know because the avogadro and stuff not this literal phlegm that i've coughed up from the back of my throat to spat onto a gun bro some of the directive decisions with bo4 just blow my mind man and that is around three already my god as for the most interesting quotes though alpha omega definitely takes the cake bro seeing the old and new characters interact was not something i was expecting in any zombies game i thought they always going to stay in their respective storylines, but here we are. And there's no way that's already one shot into the chest, man. That's wild. I do like the M14 strategy, but it doesn't even give me any bonus points. I don't even know why I bother. I kind of forgot on BO4 that the point system's all different. Let's grab this nuke and let's see. All right, that ended the round. Lovely stuff. I'm also running the overkill for this since it's one of the ones we've used the least. Since we used the Ragnaroks twice on Classified and Blood of the Dead, I thought I'd, you know, give the other ones a little shot. I did say in 9 that I did want to do that for Ether and Chaos, so I hope that's added some spice to the video. Because I know you can't really do much with the Spawn Room Challenge, and, you know, the Gobble Gums I have on are a little bit overpowered, I will admit, but, you know, it just makes the challenge that little bit easier, so I'm not dying on, like, round 4. We do have a shield now, and it is the SMG one, okay. Kind of weird to see that they just used this one for all the rest of the Ether maps and didn't give it, like, new shields. But I suppose, to be fair, this was a round the time that zombies started getting its budget cut which is really sad to see because the opening of bo4 having four maps and then slowly watching the budget decline into something like alpha omega or like tag the totem just makes me super sad man right, okay round five there we go quarter of the way in already you love to see it i think this round i might start using my overkill which is you know the massive death machine that they basically ported from bo3 and just gave it like you know up textures and also once you get it tier three serves as a portable nuke which is quite cool okay let's try this thing out then oh my god it's so weird seeing it in bo4 because you know damn well it's from bo3 the texture they gave it makes it look so much more fatter as well i don't know how to explain it it's a cool looking death machine though you can't argue that oh i like how the tip of the barrel actually gets hot as well you can see that. that's a really nice detail got ourselves some more points here another full power i'll pick that up and i'm probably not going to use it this round since we're probably nearing the end now uh yes we are should be you yeah nice okay round six lovely i can't remember what the special round is on this is it nova crawlers or dogs i can never remember there really isn't much to the spawn room huh there's like you know the bit over there which i was gonna try and do but like i literally have the welling and nothing else i did try that and it didn't go well so you know that i'm classing this as the spawn room but like i said i don't know what kind of dogs it is oh yeah it's the blue dogs kind of innovative I, I dig it i dig it all right and that's round we get a cheeky little round skip for that as well you love to see it probably gonna use the overkill for the majority of next round as well don't know if i'm gonna pop my perkaholic just yet i might see how we get on oh excuse me right okay let's whip this thing out again then i'm gonna try again at level level two maybe it's gonna tap fire it though because i'm pretty sure once you start holding it on bo4 specialists tend to take like a lot more time off you so i think spamming it before was not the play i just find it weird that they literally put like a power up as a specialist weapon i dig it i can't lie like the design of it's cool the multiple features it has are really cool but like i don't know is that not just kind of weird you guys right, okay what we got here then we got a double point again i don't need another double points bro come on now right we have 13 nearly fourteen thousand points it's round eight but we could do like an easter egg speed run right now if i really want to do i'll tell you what we're actually going to pick up the essex and use it a little bit or try to you know could be fun fun in massive quotation marks because this gun sucks i wonder if we're going to get an achievement for this one because we've been getting achievements for the original four but i don't know if it carries over to the dlc we will see though what's really sad is that like the first hand experience i've had with bo force dlc was actually because i had like a pirated copy of the game i just i, I was never too fond of buying the uh, black ops pass i thought it was an absolute waste of money i preferred buying my dlc separately in case like you know the dlc sucked or something because the way i used to work as a kid is y y you know you get your money off your parents and stuff and i didn't want to spend money especially my parents money on stuff that i didn't like so i'd always watch a review on the map first okay we leveled up our overkill uh but yeah as i was saying for example on black ops 3 i don't think i bought zetsubo no shima until like after gk 
Which is mental to me because that map's actually quite good. I just didn't like it at the time after what I saw. But I think with Black Ops 3, I eventually saved up enough pocket money or something to buy the season pass because I would really wanted to play the giant with my brother. And that's the story of how I managed to play one of the greatest games of last decade. I hate saying that, man. I feel way too old. Like, don't tell me I'm 18 next year. Stop it. Okay. Launch grenade. Let's see this then. Uh, Right, so let's right click. Oh, they're just contact grenades. That's so cool. Okay, the overkill's actually not that bad. See, none of the specialists are necessarily bad. It's just kind of like how satisfying they are to use, I guess. I don't really know how to explain it. It's just like the amount of dopamine my brain releases when I'm like shooting things. Okay, round 10. Another full power, bro. This game loves me today. Okay, let's try to use this. This grenade actually does damage me, doesn't it? Yeah, if I shoot it near me, it does do a little bit of damage. Not too much, though. That might have been because I had armor, though. I'm not too sure. Bloody hell, that overkill is good. I was always put off and using any of the other specialist weapons just because everybody used to say on the guys that, you know, like, the Sorrow was best one. So I didn't really change from that default. And also, yeah, back to what I was saying with Black Ops 4 DLC. I never bought the Black Ops Pass. Like, when BO4 first came out, I was still on Xbox, bro. I hadn't even considered the name Roman W for a channel yet. I think I was, like, 14 when BO4 came out. I can't remember. But I'll tell you one thing. When Classified went on as a separate map you could buy after the DLC season ended, I played the absolute shit out of that because it was only six quid. And that's why I think I like Classified so much. Just because of how fun it was for its price. I thought getting rid of separate DLCs was such a bad move. Because even though, yes, it's cheaper to buy Season Pass outright, for the people that didn't want to pay, like, 40 quid straight off the cuff and wanted to, like, buy them as they go on, separate DLC packs were a godsend. Okay, things are getting a little bit hectic now, and our uh, overkill is back up, but that is a nuke sitting right next to me. My god, the spawns in here are actually quite bad. Um, I'm going to try to kill as many as I can with the Zed Harmony, and then I'm going to pick up that nuke. Okay, let's see. Right, okay, let's whip out the overkill here. I really want to try and get a Carpenter power-up, because our shield is running low, and I feel like as these rounds progress, these spawns are just going to get worse and worse. It's kind of impossible to train in this area. I also just realized I've triggered a radio. I thought someone was speaking in that car, but it's not. It's the uh, radio adjacent next to it. Okay, what we got there? Oh, I thought that was a carpenter. That's so annoying. Right, we are running a little bit low on ammo for our Z Harmony, and also our shield is literally about to break, which is very unfortunate. Oh, can I get through here without them hitting my shield? Just barely. Right, give me some ammo. There we go. Dip into our absolute L-gotten gains. And that's round 14. Yeah, but our shield is on its last legs, bro. Like, look at the health bar. It's non-existent. The round stingers on Alpha Omega are actually not even that bad either. It's like a mix of the transit theme and just some, like, 60s music. I kind of dig it, though. For me, though, like, S-tier round stingers have to be... Now, in case you don't know what I'm talking about, a round stinger is, like, the, you know, the, 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 the little track it plays when it's changing the round. I'm sure you've all gathered that, but for just people who don't. Um, yeah. S-tier round stingers have to be Forsaken, bro. Forsaken's little tracks it plays in between are so good. Okay, we got another full power drop here. I'm gonna pick that up. Means we can hold our overkill for about, like, a million years. All right, nice. Let me clear that around. You love to see it, and that should charge the tier 3? No? Oh, yeah, yeah, there you go. I was about to say. Now we have a portable nuke in case we get stuck in a sticky situation in these next five rounds, which is brilliant. To be fair, I can also see how that's utilized for some speedruns, and also we have a brilliant opportunity to show it off here. I was nearly debating there just popping in a power keg, but, you know, right, we're going to use it to its full ability, and then when it's about to die, I'm going to pop in the tactical nuke. Right, okay. Uh, chuck it now. There we go. And it actually does act like a nuke. That's so cool. I know it's probably not cool to you guys, because you've seen, like, all the other YouTubers seen using them and all that stuff, but, like, to me, half the stuff in BO4, I've literally never done. Oh, you actually, you can shoot their heads off, okay. Um, so, yeah, a lot of it is still quite new to me. Like, when I did the BO4 solo video, I'd literally never even touched the Blood of the Dead Easter Egg. And when it glitched at the end, I was so disheartened, man. All right, nice. We got ourselves a max ammo here. And our shield is still kicking, bro. Look at this. Absolute trooper right here. Three more rounds. Let's go. How many minutes on the clock? 15, bro. We must be, like, on world record for, like, the fastest round 20. Like, this is ridiculous. What we got here? A nuke. That would have been kind of perfect a little while ago. Not now, though. What would be perfect right now is a carpenter, but our shield is gone, so not anymore. I almost just try to pre-fire a zombie there. Ah, how long am I going to be low? And I got downed. Brilliant. Lucky that we didn't have a perkaholic popped in, but when we get up here, I'm going to pop it. See if we can get some decent perks. Let me up, and then we'll pop this in. Wait, what are we getting? Winter's Whale. That's pretty good. PhD Slider's all right. Ethereal Razor's kind of cool. Not anything too crazy, though, but our gun is definitely going to reload a lot faster, and I just already hit my dying wish. Are you joking? Oh, God, move. Ooh. Oh, wait, no. I've got in my modifier. I'm chilling. It won't spawn me in on one health. I swear to God, if that was a carpenter there, I would have been, like, baby raging so hard. All right, nice. Round 18. I'm going to grab some ammo. Very nice. And then we've got our overkill we can use. I might actually spawn in a power keg next round, just so we can try clear that round with just the death machine alone. Just see how it goes, though. Right, okay. Let's give this a good use. Ugh. See how many kills we can get and also use the nuke. That's, like, my favorite thing about this. That does make this, like, incredibly overpowered, though, if you can just spawn in a nuke without even having to use, like, a gobblegum or something. Okay, keep going. Use it now. There we go. And there you go. 
It's probably cleared out a decent chunk of the round, like. Okay, what we got here, an insta-kill. Makes my job just a million times easier. I realise now I've just picked up the Essex just for it to fill up a slot, bro. I've, like, not even been using it at all. That last one. That's the last zombie? Oh my god, okay. Okay, okay, okay. I could really do with my death machine right now, actually. That would be brilliant. Oh my god, I should not be alive. Oh, and again. Yep, these spawns are getting crazy, man. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Let me through, let me through, let me through, let me through. Let me cook. I need my thingy. Come on. A carpenter, I don't even need that. I need my death machine. There we go, that's what I want. Brilliant, 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 brilliant. Move, 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 move. Right, okay. Right, I am literally just gonna wait until we're on about, like... Point one of this and then chuck it now. Let's see. Is that going to end the round? Yes, no, maybe so. Yeah, let's go. Round 20, we hit our goal. Lovely stuff. All right, on to Tag the Toten. Right, okay, here we are already. Tag the Toten. Now, the funniest thing I remember with Tag the Toten is that one, the Strife's here instead of the RK5. Now, I'm joking. Tim Hansen actually used to hold the world record for four player spawn room challenge on this map, and that blows my mind. But yeah, this is going to be an interesting one. We also have a little power switch here, you know, which doesn't really do much apart from, you know, that beaming lighthouse that's blinding my eyes now. And is there a brew machine in here? I don't really remember the beam one i actually don't think there's anything that, that power switch does apart from you know turns on that let's pop wall power here and we'll grab ourselves a z harmony and wow does that camo really look like the origins one that's really sick and because you know this map's very cold gotta stay warm so i've put on the flamethrower field of grid specialist thingy as this one kind of fits this map i'd say and also it's like one of the ones we haven't used as much i know classifieds technically an ether map so we had to use two at some point but you know I I i'm trying my best here i'm so glad that they actually put achievements in the game for doing a spawn room challenge until round 20 that is so sick from the devs massive props to them the shame bo4 was such a bad game man because it had some absolute gem maps and it also had some absolute gem features. Like, for example, that and also Dead of the Night, I think, personally, is a really good map. But now we can one-shot headshot with the Strife, though. So I am chilling, quite literally, because it's so cold. <laughs> um... Anyway, bad jokes aside, I'm just trying to think in my head what's like a viable strategy because, you know, we've got to run through water to the train. It slows we down. We could just try post up like maybe at this main island back here and just see how it goes. Or we could just, you know, wing it like every other time. You know what I mean? Okay, we have our flamethrower active. That's the first time I've, I think I've ever used it in BO4. So this is going to be completely new to me. Don't even know what its features are. Oh, there's also a shield piece here. We'll pick that up because, we, you know, we're definitely going to craft the shield. Also, them napalm zombies are kind of annoying. I won't even lie. There's some zombie points there. Don't need them. I don't know why I call that drop zombie points i think it's because you know it's got a z in the middle of it but you know it's just points probably something to do with the fact there's a drop called zombie blood as well and i probably mix them two up okay right let's try the flamethrower out then okay right let's see um okay kind of just feels like the um scepter of Ra that's on uh, the chaos maps i can kind of see why people don't use this thing now it's a lot more underwhelming in comparison with something like you know the ragnaroks or i don't know the path of sorrows a little flaming katana that's been teased for like four games now we're getting round 20 on this easily bro don't even try to say that i'm not because it's happening of course you got to end it off with a success you can't just end the video on a low note man like come on just trying to hit as many headshots as i can to get as many points as i can just in case we need to grab ammo because you know points are actually quite important for this one that's a full power uh it's probably not worth it to use it though i'm gonna wait till next round i think oh my god is the z harmony good for like the first couple of rounds first couple to be fair it's quite good until about round 15 from what we saw throughout this entire video okay wait for them to spawn in a little bit then i'll pop the uh is it called the hellfire it's definitely nikolai's weapon i just can't remember what it's called it's so underwhelming though man that sucks like it does damage don't get me wrong but like there's no cool effect they kind of go on fire but that's it like bro the purifier from bo3 mp had more effect on the fact that the zombie Zombies, or players rather, were burning to death. This just kind of feels like they fall over. Another full power? Okay, I'll take that. Just trying to charge this thing up to see what um, effect it has on like levels 1, 2, and 3. Because I know Overkill, like the uh, Death Machine one, that's um, Dempsey's one, I think. Because each one of them very clearly has a character in mind. Like the Hellfire says it's built with Russian know-how, so Nikolai. DG5's Ricked Often, because you know, Group 935. Overkill, Massive Death Machine, Dempsey. And then the Path of Sorrows, which is a katana that Takio wields, so that's Takio's. Oh wait, we have Dog Rounds? I kind of forgot. Is it Dogs? Oh, it is. Okay. Right, there we go. That's Max. That literally didn't take any time whatsoever because dogs pass BO1, I want to say. Even then, they're kind of easy. World at War dogs will also be like... World at War dogs have to be like peak dogs, bro. They kind of fell off after World at War, which sucks because I wish they were like such a more powerful mini boss because they're so iconic, man. Right. Okay. We're going to nuke it over there. Let's try and maximize it a little bit. We'll try and get some kills and then we'll grab it. Okay. Right. Uh, Get rid of you and you and you and you and then grab. And the round question mark? Yes. No. Maybe so. No. Okay. That was ambitious, to be fair, though. Okay, is this last? Yeah, nice. Okay, round nine. 
Just shy of halfway there. I can't believe we almost got 30 on 9. I think we got like 26, 27. That is mental. Considering that the Z Harmony, which is pretty much what carries us through all of these, was first tier packed. I'm also going to pop a shield. I kind of forgot we had elixirs. And this one has the little SMG, which is brilliant. Means that if we run out of ammo, we can rely on that. And this thing also does a shit ton of damage. And I don't know why. Does it, regardless of what round you're on, this thing will always kill. So I'm just going to try to save that before we get like max ammos and stuff. Also, let me know down in the comments if you guys like the idea of having elixirs always on you. That you don't have to go to like a gobble gun machine to grab them i don't know how to feel about it honestly like it's cool that i can just pop them whenever but it is even more powerful than gobblegum and that is what they were trying to nerf in the first place with them it just makes no sense right okay we've almost got this thing level two so we can finally see what other attachments this thing has is it a grenade launcher for this i can't remember right, we ended the round okay round 10 halfway there lovely jubbly and that is level two you love to see it okay we've got another nuke here we can try and maximize it as per usual although i don't think it's going to end the round considering that it didn't before and we're now on a higher round basically logic is the z harmony starting to fall off yet yeah, i can't really tell okay we'll grab this now then it gives me time to grab some more ammo oh can these flaming zombies go away and also what he dropped a dynamite piece i didn't throw a snowball off him though i hate how the dynamite's not just a buildable you can go back and buy that was something when we were doing the bo4 easter egg video that really annoyed me i thought that once you built it it would just be like the shield and you just had to pay for more it's super annoying now you have to wait for three more flaming zombies like it actually does my head in tag the totem's easter eggs not even like enjoyable it's just more boring it's like a bunch of step you got to do challenges then you got to go get the golden rod and then there's not even a boss fight at the end there's the the, blah, 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 blah. the zombies map to end off the ether storyline does not even have a boss fight you guys remember when we thought we were gonna go fight in the great war yeah me too right okay we got our overkill not overkill uh blast vent let's see what this does okay it's just like a, a, a what even is that it's just like air it's like a thunder gun kind of thing it's kind of cool i dig it to be fair the thing isn't even that bad it's just like i said really underwhelming in comparison with the other three like i'd want to use a death machine over that i'd rather see like a gun spin up and stuff that's just me though um we got anywhere but here which could be quite useful because i don't think it can take us to locked off parts of the map and we also got temporal gift as our randomly selected elixirs so could probably take advantage of those full power again i will happily take that and use my specialist weapon this heat blast thing he doesn't really have a wide range on it though which is a little bit annoying but you know i can see why this is one of the weaker ones like if i had to rank them from worst to best it would definitely go path of sorrows then dg fives oh wait no sorry that's the other way around right worst the best the hellfire the overkill oh the overkill dg5's path of sorrows right, okay that's round lovely stuff seven more to go you know the fact that i get an achievement makes me more motivated to play this video like that sounds so stupid but the fact they've actually acknowledged that the spawn room challenge is something that exists just really puts a smile on my bracket man i didn't even realize that it was a thing the dog round cheeky little round skip you love to see it i hope i'm not just chatting on my arse either because for blood of the dead and nine we definitely got two achievements for the spawn room bloody hell you get quite a wide view of all the dog spawns at spawn how many times are going to say spawn in one sentence? My god. Right, grab some ammo for this. We've also got another charge on our specialist weapon soon. But we've done all of this without a perkaholic, man. I'm actually kind of proud. Still got three self revives as well. Ooh, hang on. That might be a waste to pick that up just yet. I can definitely charge this thing before we have to pick that up. Come on. Come on. Actually, I'm just going to pull out the shield, I reckon. Just use that. Definitely get a charge on it then. Yes. You love to see it. All right. Heat blast. Don't tell me I don't maximize my drops, bro. That is one thing I will not stand for in the comment section. See, we got like a full charge out of that. We're like one and a half. Probably gonna end up being able to clear the round with that. Let's see. Are we gonna be able to clear the round? Or am I chatting? Yes, we are. Brilliant. Okay, five more. We got this. We got this. This is usually where things start to go from like zero to a hundred though. So let's just strap in. I think what I'm gonna do actually is I'm gonna pop this and then grab one of these just so we have one on strap in case we get one off a zombie. Means we can probably clear another round with two charges of a specialist weapon. Carpenter, I will happily take that. To be fair, can use the shield as well a little bit here to clear out some zombies. Uh, we've now run out of ammo. That kind of sucks. What is that? An insta-kill? I'll take an insta-kill. Makes my job a million times easier. Oh, we have ammo on the welling. What am I doing? No full power, question mark? Any full power? Any full... There you go. All right, hang on. Wait for this insta-kill to run out. We'll use it and then pick it up. Right. Use this. Clear out the rest of these zobs. There we go. Right, and then we'll grab this. Probably use that a little bit wonkily, but it's fine. We're going to get a tier 3 now anyway. I'm actually quite excited to see what it's going to be. Right, yeah, that wasn't the best usage of the full power there. Probably should have ended the round, but I was just more concerned about the drop going away. Uh, we need ammo. I need to grab some ammo. That's the first time I think I've had to buy some, though, which is quite good. The economy on which we've been getting drops has been brilliant. But wow, is this thing starting to suck? Jesus. Oh, this dog spawning in now as well. Uh oh. Oh, get me out of the corner. Get me out, get me out, get me out, get me out, get me out. Oh, we have no bullets in the bloody shield. I need a max ammo. What's that? Could that be the answer to my worries? 
No, it's a bloody bonus point. Okay, we got our tier 3 thingy. Oh, no, we don't. We didn't get up to tier 3. That kind of sucks. The bar looks like it's there. Definitely will be this time, though. Okay, that should be round. Question mark. Is it round? It should be last. Yeah, nice. 17. Right, now it's tier 3. Right, I at least want to charge that up one more time to see what our tier 3 ability is. See, I don't know why they didn't do that for field upgrades, because the route they went down with Cold War was that you can upgrade them permanently with crystals. Fair enough. Add element to grind the game to get all your stuff up to tier 5. Or tier 3 or whatever it was for the game's release. I think everything was tier 3 once the game released. Tier 5 was an update. But, I digress. Why didn't they just make that a thing for field upgrades? It would have eliminated a lot of the easiness of Cold War and just made it a, you know, a more all-around experience for any kind of player rather than just solely directed at casuals, if you understand what I mean. You picking up what I'm putting down? I hope so. Okay, I really want to get this specialist weapon nice and charged. It would be brilliant. Okay, we're getting there. My god, is this pistol starting to suck, though. Ooh. Oh, we got burned out as our other elixir. That's actually quite useful. Oh my god, let me out. Let me out, let me out, let me out, let me out. There's another thing I'll give bu 4 credit for. It's pattern is ridiculously good like they really went extensive with like how well the zombies can track you like if you're going like around the corner at the left and there's an opening on the right it'll go on the right you know what i mean max ammo our shield is going to be very happy see like, look at that i just tears through them right okay next round i'm probably going to use my um flamethrower here if it's not a dog round it could well be to be fair it's been a little while since we've had one we've done this all no perkaholic man that's quite sick. Okay, no dog round. I am quite excited to see what this flamethrower can do. It's going to wait for more to spawn in, though. Uh, right, okay, let's see. Right, what is it? Infernal Tempest. What is that, bro? That is a fire staff. Bro, that is so cool. And I can use the flamethrower and the heat blast at the same time. Okay, maybe I've been, maybe I've been wrong about the flamethrower, honestly. I didn't know it had the bloody fire staff charged ability just sitting in it. That is ridiculous. Okay, then I'm going to use the shield here because it's like about to break. Oh, shit. Let me out, let me out, let me out. Carpenter. Oh, it's not going to break anymore. Right, okay. Literally like two more rounds. We can do this, man. Okay, is that round? Yes. Right, I'm going to buy some ammo and I'm going to chill. Haha, <laughs> get it? Because there's ice all around. I've made that joke twice now. I'm going to throw myself out the window, bro. Dog round? Yes, okay. Right, we actually get a round skip to 20. That's brilliant. Look at this view I get of them, man. It's so sick. I can kill them before they even come near me. Well, if my gun was powerful enough, you know what I mean? Right, okay, this should be last. And do we get an achievement? Question mark. Let's see. Please give me an achievement, please. No? Are you serious? Well, that's actually sad. I thought we'd get one. Maybe they stopped doing it after like, the original four maps drop. Okay, I'll tell you what. We're just going to use the rest of our flamethrower here. Because we've got full power. And I'm going to try and get to 21 to see if we get one then. Because maybe it's got, you've got to survive 20 rounds. Because the thing is with BO4, when it says survive 20 rounds, it means get to 21. Right, okay. Grab this. Fire another one of them down. Yep, it's on water because that makes sense. Just trying to get as many kills with this thing as I can. To be fair, we must have cleared out a fair few there. Double points. I was really hoping that would be a nuke. Okay, we've got some bullets in this thing too. We'll use this. Should be getting close to the end of the round now. We killed a canny few with that flamethrower. That last? Okay, let's see. Achievement question mark? Nothing. Wow! Game scammed me. Okay, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like on it. And if you want to see more content like this, please subscribe. We're trying to hit 30k before the end of the month. And it's getting there now, so I'd, I'd really appreciate it if you did hit that uh, funny red button down there. And if it's grey, you're already really cool. Alright, that's it for this video. Ta-ra for now.